Today I'm going to be surviving 100 days in the Better Minecraft mod pack. This mod pack adds a lot of stuff and lives up to its name. It really does make Minecraft better. There are tons of new mobs like raccoons, bison, gorillas, and more. There's also a lot of custom structures, bosses, biomes, and stuff like that. In this video, I focus on completing the overworld quest tree, which includes things like defeating a custom pillager raid and crafting some cool unique items. Join me on my adventure into the most requested mod pack for a 100 days video. Okay, it is the first day of Better Minecraft 100 Days. I've gotten a lot of people ask me to play this mod, so I'm finally playing it. I don't really know that much about it since I've never watched any videos on it and I've never played it before. So everything is going to be pretty new. The one thing I do know is a couple things about quests because I did test it in a world before I started recording since I wanted to make sure I would know how to use them. So there's a couple of starter quests that I had to read through and I get a special item for free. And some torches. And some sapling, I don't really know what that does. But the one good thing is this little charm I have which will give me a second life I think. But hopefully I won't have to use that. It also looks like I spawned right next to a big structure which is kind of lucky. And is this a village? Or some kind of ruin I think? I don't really know. Maybe there's a chest. Okay, there's a chest with nine arrows and a bow. I think I might try to make some tools. Okay, I made a wooden axe and I cut down a tree, so I have 53 logs now, which is a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. And also a stone axe for I can mine some stone. Okay, I have a stone axe and stone pickaxe, so I should be able to defend myself now. And I'm gonna go check out what this structure is, because I'm kind of curious if there's anything in here. Or maybe there's not even an inside. There's some free coal on the side of this, and this appears to be a staircase. So I think I might follow it up and see where it leads. Okay, there's some decorations and some free food. I'm gonna go ahead and steal this. Other than that, there's nothing really useful so far. I hear some zombies. This is some kind of spawner. Okay, I don't know if this is safe. I think I'm gonna leave. A free honey. Okay, there's actually a lot of food in this barrel right here. And a lot more carrots. Okay, well, there's actually a monster right here. And he almost won't hit kill me, so I think that's my cue to leave. Before I leave and keep exploring, I actually did see this structure right here too, so I'm gonna see if there's anything inside. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I think I have to mine in. Okay, there's a zombie spawner. And a chest with rope. I don't know if I'll need that, but I'll take it. And some gunpowder and wheat. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Only some candles. This spawner might give me a couple levels, so I might as well try to break it. Okay, I got spawner fragments, so maybe you can rebuild them or something, too. There is a cave opening here, and a couple pieces of iron, so maybe I should get this. I could make an iron pickaxe, since I already have a bucket. I guess I'm surrounded by lots of ocean, so I'm gonna make a boat, too. And maybe I can sail to somewhere with some more land, or find a new biome. I just have to be careful, because I'm not sure what kind of monsters are in the ocean. There's something over there that looks pretty deadly. Okay, there's a huge whale, and he's coming for me. Or maybe he's not. Either way, it's, it's pretty scary. Damn good. There's a floating island up there, and I think I saw one earlier too. I wonder if there's anything good on those. I don't have any blocks to get up there right now, so I'll check later. Ooh, uh, and I don't have a bed, and it's turning nighttime. I haven't found any sheep yet. I think it would be a good idea to hide in the side of this mountain. And I will place a door right here. And I can also use some of the free torches I got. Okay, I just finished another achievement, so I get these three books. I don't know if they do anything, though. Just shows me some crafting recipes. And this one is a dictionary of all the animals, it looks like. So I can probably see all the info about them if I ever need to. I might as well just mine down and see if I can find any iron. Or maybe even a cave. My map might be able to show me some. It says it's a lush cave, so... I don't know. Okay, I found nothing, so I think I'm actually just gonna go on my boat. I don't think I'll be that unsafe if I just ride in the ocean, but hopefully I'm not wrong. I can also steal my crafting table. And then I think this is the way I was going before. I did get shot by a skeleton once, but it seems like I'm safe now. Okay, what is this? It looks like a raft or something. Maybe there'll be a villager on it. Okay, it seems like it's abandoned, so... An efficiency 3 on breaking 3 book. That's really good. Oh my gosh, I'm being shot at by something. I need to run away. He has like an upgraded trident. What even is that? Okay, I don't know. I kind of want to get to land. I feel like this sea is not as safe. 
Okay, I finally found an island. I just hope it's big this time. And maybe I'll find a couple of sheep up here. Because it is a plains, it seems. Okay, I see some pigs. Maybe I should just kill a couple. In case I need some meat. Okay, there's a black pig here for some reason. Maybe pigs just aren't pink in real life. So they're probably just being more realistic. Okay, there's an elephant up there too. And some cows. But I don't see any sheep yet. And there's a skeleton that wants to shoot me. Oh my gosh, there's a huge village. Or I think it's a village. Oh yeah, there's villager guards. I think I'll be safe here. Because I've played with the villager guard mod and I don't think they attack you for no reason. But honestly, maybe they get mad at you if you steal stuff. That would make sense. I guess I'll just have to find out. I'm just emptying my inventory out trying to pick what I need and what I don't need because I'm running out of space fast. There's a lot of villagers in this area. I wonder what they're doing. Some more bread and a leather chest plate. Nice. Just some more food in this one. And a bucket of water with a tropical fish. I think I'll take that. Okay, there's an iron knife. That might be a good weapon. And it looks like there's some secret tunnel. Yeah, I might try to go see what that is. I think it'd be easier to dig down. Oh, never mind. There's just a ladder. I think that was supposed to be a butcher room or something. I don't really know. But it doesn't seem like there's too many good things in this village. So I think I'm going to leave. I did get some stuff. Oh, and there's another helmet. I need that too. Okay, apparently if you place pumpkin pie and eat it in this version, you get a speed boost. It's only speed one, but that's still a boost. Is this guy friendly? All right, he is. Seems like he's selling some sort of items. This might be his house. I'm going to see if he has anything I can steal. Just some bread and hay bales. But I'll take it because I need food. Then the main house has... Nothing. The upstairs is pretty empty too. There's moon shards, but I don't know if those do anything good. I think I'll leave them behind. I have not really found anything so far. I'm just running through this biome still. Alright, it's turning night time. I just found a sandstone pillager outpost. I'm just going to run in really quick. Okay, no I'm not. There's two people down there. Okay, I think I'm going to skip this area. Hopefully I can get out of here alive. Ooh, there's another village. I'm going to go to that. And I'll steal a bat because I forgot to steal one from the last one. Okay, I almost just died to a skeleton that was in this village. I'm making some more bread. Okay, I have over a stack. I'm going to eat some. Hopefully there's some better loot in this village. The last one had just a bunch of more food. But I guess that's what villagers have in normal Minecraft. I was kind of hoping I could find some iron armor. There's also something that way. It looks kind of like a ray tower, so I do not want to go over there. Other than that, it seems like I got all the loot, so I'm going to leave and keep exploring. I'm in like a really gray biome. I don't know what this place is. It's called a wasteland, so I kind of want to get out of here as fast as I can. It's pretty ugly. And I don't think I'll find anything good here. I just also found out there's quests here for the world. I did not see that before. So I guess I could finish these. Obtain a blue journal. I think that's the one guy I found before. And I stole some stuff from his house. Okay, if I defend a village from a raid, I get netherite ingot. That might be worth it. Ooh, I could also craft a backpack. That would be easy. I just have to look out for some rabbit hide. I've stumbled across a new biome right here. I'm gonna see what it's called. It looks kind of like a jungle. It's a rainforest. That's pretty cute. There's some sort of animal right here. A toucan. Okay, this is actually just a desert pyramid. But it's jungle. I'm gonna make sure though. I don't want to accidentally fall into a trap. Okay, it seems like there's floors. Ooh, and silverfish. Okay, I think I'm gonna go up. This is getting way too dangerous. And if there's a pressure plate down there, the silverfish are just gonna jump on it and explode it. So yeah, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna go do something else. There's a random house in the jungle right here. I feel like it's a trap. Okay, it doesn't seem like a trap. Okay, the loot is very useless. I see something up there. There's a couple of tents. That might be somewhere that has some good loot. And then there is this desert biome right here, so... I'll definitely explore that after. Maybe I'll find some sort of temple structure. I can get some loot. I could also just go mining, but I don't know what's underground. So I would rather find some loot above ground first. But if this doesn't give me some loot, I'll probably just find a cave. I think that's the best idea. Ooh, this is like a wandering trader camp, it seems. I don't really have any emeralds though, I can't buy anything from these guys. Yeah, this chest is a lot better than the others. It has six golden carrots and nine gold. Then this guy's house. Ooh, more gold and some golden apples. Okay, there's only two houses here, but that was some pretty good loot from two. Well, now I'm in a dry land. 
Maybe I can see a cave on my map. Seems like there's something right here. Well, and I guess I'm standing on something. This might be a cave. Yeah, this is a hole with a bunch of water in it. What is this? A fly? Interesting. Ooh, there's a stink right there. He might eat me. And this isn't a cave either. It's just a bunch of water in a hole. Okay, I think I actually just found a cave. It looks like this one goes down to at least somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and go in. Ooh, but there's a skeleton. And he does a lot of damage. So, you know, maybe I'll actually just keep looking for iron above ground. Well, he is burning to death, so... Maybe I could go at least check. Okay, he almost just killed me. I'm gonna eat one of my golden apples. There's a zombie. If I just find one patch of iron, I feel like it'll be worth it to come down here. I should also make some torches before I can actually see. And I'll put them in my offhand. There we go. Okay, I did find some iron. But how many is it? Two? And another piece right here. It seems like it's actually just one, so I've gotten three so far, which means I have seven in total. Okay, I just found a real cave. I just don't know if it's safe to go in here, so I'll be careful and observe first. There's also some sort of line. I might go this way first, because there could be some iron on this side, and it looks a little more safe than going straight. Okay, there's a skeleton in front of me, and I haven't seen any more iron. Maybe... Iron is more rare at these levels in this mod pack. This cave is really big though. Ooh, there's some iron down there. Oh my gosh, there's two skeletons. Just have to be careful. I think it's time to run away. Yeah, I think I'll just mine this coal and go up. Because I could melt the iron I got and make some pants. Then I could find another cave that's more safe. Because this one, you have to kind of commit to going down into it. And I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. Okay, it looks like if I go straight this way, it does get bigger on the sides. But yeah, there's ocean on the other two sides of me. So I'm gonna go straight. Okay, I found a little mini entrance to the big cave I was just in. So I think I'm gonna go in here because there's some more iron next to me and melt the seven I have already. Ooh, and it seems like there's at least eight, which is good. Iron is done melting, so I can make some pants. And a pickaxe to mine a bit faster. Oops, that's a fishing rod. Then hopefully I have enough iron to make some boots, maybe too. Or right, yeah, then I'll have two spare after that. So I think I'm gonna go try to go down to the cave after all. There are a lot of monsters, so I think I'll have to make a shield if I want to go down too. Okay, I'm ready. So let me just place my water in, swim down here. Okay, I kind of let the creepers do the work for me. I'm getting shot a lot. Ooh. Okay, I think there's a cooldown on the shield in this version. I didn't know about that. It kind of made me almost die. So I think I'm ready to go back down now. Okay, that is a really weak rep. Okay, my weapon is really weak. I didn't know it did that little damage. So I don't even think I should go in here. I think it's a really bad idea. But if I already killed all of the monsters, I might be able to loot it really fast. I don't think there's any iron in this area though. Yeah, the only iron is way down there. So I'm going to leave again. Oh, that's so cute. There's turtles in this river. They're just swimming around doing turtle things. I see some open iron in this cave over here. I'm in a sand biome now almost. Or I think I am in a sand biome, but getting closer to this big one. Yeah, now I'm looking at the caves because I'm underground, but I guess that's it. I don't really see any more iron, but this isn't really a cave, so it's just a huge opening in the ground. Yeah, there is some iron I can get in this though. The cave got a lot bigger and there's no monsters near here. Might be able to jump down and grab that piece. Ooh, there's a lot more down here. Okay, but there's also two zombies now. Okay, there's so much iron in this area. I just have to keep fending off from the zombies. I'm almost at 24, which is more than enough for full iron. I already have half of it. Ooh, and there's a whole nother patch in this area. Okay, I have 33 raw iron. That is a lot. So I'll definitely be able to make full iron armor now. I'm gonna keep mining as long as I can. Because for some reason there's no skeletons, which are definitely the most deadly. Alright, I think I'm gonna go up now. Because I got plenty of iron. Or more than I even imagined I would get from coming down here. And thankfully it's very close to the surface. So it will not take me long to get up. Ooh, a skeleton is right here. That is bad. Now I just have to find a good spot to melt my iron. So I'll find somewhere where maybe I can multitask and do something else. Is it raining? It's raining in the lush desert. I guess it doesn't rain in this biome right here because I didn't hear it before. Okay, I'll stay in here for now then. 
And I mean, this is probably a fine spot. I don't see any structures, but honestly, I should just keep looking because I bet there's one in front of me somewhere. Yeah, it looks like the land gets a lot bigger too. And no more oceans. I'm kind of hoping to find some cool structures today because I know there's lots of custom ones in this mod. Just seems like I'm not running into any of them yet. I also would rather not be in a wasteland, so I'm going to try to avoid it, but that might not be possible. Okay, it seems like this will end, so I think I do have to go to the other environment I didn't want to go into. Because I definitely don't want to swim. I'd rather go through a wasteland than swim in a boat. Okay, well, I just found this sign. I got an achievement for it too, so I guess there's something 1,500 blocks, which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to try to go there. If I just craft this, I also get another achievement. Yeah, so I guess the two main things I want to do is make a backpack. I need rabbits for that and defeat a raid soon. And that might give me some more options of cool stuff to do. But my new main goal is to get 1,500 blocks this way. I want to see what's over there. Okay, there's literally a shark over there too, so I was right. There are sharks in this mod, which is a little bit scary, but thankfully sharks are naturally aggressive, so I'll be fine. What is more scary than a shark is that Warden monster right there that, who has like a little pet following him. I do not like that guy one bit, but thankfully I think I can just swim straight forward and I dodge everything and I won't die. That is a huge whale. There's another floating island up there. I'm really tempted to go up and see what is there, so I might do that. But there's also a run portal over here, so I'm gonna go loot that too. Okay, I just got gloves. Durability at a lower rate. That sounds pretty good, actually. I also have some gold and some tools that I don't need. A looting three gold sword will come in handy, though, so I'll take that. I think that is basically everything here, so... I'm gonna go over to the sky base thing now and start stacking up there. Okay, there's diamonds up here. I didn't really expect that. So let me get some inventory space. And then mine them. There's one. I think there's two total. So let me get this other one. And that should be it. I wonder if there's a chest on top. I hope so. Ooh, another diamond. So three. I could make like a diamond pickaxe or something. Okay, four diamonds. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, five. This is better than going mining. How many diamonds did they put in this thing? Oh my gosh, there's a chest? There's a hidden chest? Okay, well, I, that actually kind of sucks, but still, it is exciting, a hidden chest. Yeah, that's some bone meal and stuff. I don't see how that's useful. Ooh, another diamond, though. Six diamonds from this sky base. That is crazy. And now to see if there's anything on top. No, yeah, no chest, which is fine. Should I drink this slow falling potion? I think I'll save it for later. I don't really know how they work. Okay, so now I can continue to go 1,500 blocks. That was a very worthwhile stop. Just not sure what I'm going to do with all this new loot I found. All right, I made it to the village, or I think this is what was 1,500 blocks away. Now I can mount my iron, and maybe there'll be some good loot here too. Sounds like there's a cat somewhere nearby. All right, there's my iron melting. My inventory is so full too. Hopefully I can get a backpack soon, but I haven't found any rabbits. Okay, cute cat. Some bread, I'll take that for sure. There's vines on every single door here. Okay, chests are looking pretty bad so far, but uh, maybe they'll get better. Okay, I was fighting a witch and I got really low, so let me run away. And maybe I can pull my bow. Okay, there's an achievement. Take aim. Please get away from me, witch. Okay, the witch is gone. These mushrooms are really cute, too. That's a nice touch. Okay, what is in here? Okay, some skeletons. No, thank you. Honestly, this village stinks. There's nothing here that I need. I mean, this house looks unique. Maybe there'll be something in here. Just gotta swim on up. Ah, oh, there's another witch. And witch do so much damage. Especially if they throw the instant damage potion. Which I think they're about to do. Please, witch, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay. I'm okay. An emerald. Yeah, this is not looking nice. Did I get everything? Yeah, I think I got every house except for that one. Also poisoned for 15 more seconds, so I'm gonna have to hide up here and not get shot by anything. Half a heart. That is uh, pretty low. <laughs> all right, all my iron is done mounting, so I'm gonna make some tools and top half iron armor, so I am more protected. Maybe I'll be able to go into a cave now without dying. Just two more pieces of iron have to mount and I'm ready to get out of here. And the swap was a pretty big bust, but it happens sometimes. I don't think the villagers have uh, very good loot in this mod. I think it's just pretty standard loot, which is fine. You know, I don't want to get too much stuff from my village anyway. So I think it's time to keep exploring. There is a new biome over there, so that's where I'm going to head first. 
want to check it out. Looks like an autumn birch forest or something. Oh my gosh, I just found raccoons. That's so cute. Oh, I can give them bread. Okay, they're breeding. Oh, that's so cute. Hello, raccoons. What are they doing? Oh, they want more, maybe? Oh, they did. Okay, I gotta give all of them some. They want it. You're welcome, everybody. Have a good day, raccoon family. Okay, but there is a house right here, so I'm gonna go check this out. It looks kind of like a fishing hut or something. It's pretty nicely built. I like it. Ooh, there's a witch. Safe haven? Dungeons and taverns. Cool. What's this place? Okay. Please leave me alone. Okay, let me check this out now. Okay, why is there a witch in the cellar or cupboard, whatever this is called? This place is infested. Okay, a piece of bread. Creeping crypt map. What does that do? Okay, searching. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea what this is supposed to be, but I'll take it. Maybe I'll get closer to it. I'm gonna eat some pumpkin pie. I think this is all looted already, too. A smoker. I don't have inventory room, but if I did, that'd be a good thing to take. Oh, there's like three little bedrooms. Nice. Ooh, what is this guy? A catfish. Interesting. Anyways, there's nothing really else here, so let's keep on going. It seems like there's a village straight ahead, so I'm gonna go there next. Okay, I found another village right here. There are a lot of witch here, though. Or witches. Whatever that word would be. Do you really have to poison me? Water breathing. Oh, I'm so sorry, cat. Get out of- Oh, no. Okay. The cat is okay. This is a really nice built village, too. These are some pretty nice structures. And I got a waystone. Oh my gosh, there's way too many witches here. Oh my gosh, there's one in the house, too. I can't escape them. All right, we're leaving. Everybody knows this village is going to have nothing in it anyway, so I'm not going to risk my life. <laughs> I'm so low. I have 40 seconds of slowness. Are they chasing me? Okay, those witches are crazy. Okay, there's a mine shaft right here. Oh, wait, look, there's also a bear. Nice, that's so cute. I don't know if it's worth it to go down here. I kind of want to, so I guess I will. I just got to put some water down and wait. That should be enough time. That's not enough time. But it's okay. We're doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> All right. Anybody down here? Ooh, I might be able to find some diamonds easily. What is that? Okay, I don't really want to... I'm already scared. <laughs> might be able to find some artifacts if I find a mimic bomb. Should I be carrying these around in my inventory? That seems kind of unsafe. I'm a little bit scared. Or just skeptical. I'm gonna throw that map out because I don't think I'll ever use it. I don't know where that thing is. Okay. Nothing here. What about down this way? Yeah, not much. Let's use some iron, but I kind of solved my iron problem. The main thing I'm looking for is just some chests to get some artifacts. There's a chest here, but I opened this. Yeah, okay, I have opened it. Maybe there's another over here? Oh, there's some cobwebs. Those look so cool. But it makes me kind of think there's like some spider boss in this area. I'm not sure if that even exists, but that's what it feels like. So I'm a little bit scared. Okay, I found a ancient tomb again with punch. Not very useful to me, but there's also a skillet that is really funny. I kind of want to take it just to try to use it because I've never used something like that. I'll have to try it in a safe spot though. I don't want to get into any sticky situations down here. Anything this way? Nope. Yeah, honestly, this place kind of sucks. There's nothing down here. Okay, never mind. There's one spot. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I knew these guys were down here, but... Okay, I've got to go fast or I'm going to die down here. Then you break this. Okay, I think I'll live. I'm getting a gold ample to be safe. Okay, was it worth it? There's a bunch of useless rope. I don't need any of that. Wait, that's the only chest. Okay, that sucks. I think it's time to go back up to the surface. Yeah, none of this is worth it. There's just a bunch of random ores. What is that guy? Interesting, to say the least. Okay, there's a little pillager hut here. Oh, there's a lot more guys than I originally thought. Okay, I'm actually getting low. I'm stepping in with the roses. Found a cute little biome over here. It's like a nice little sand desert with some nice little trees. But nothing else of interest. I mean, there could be some rabbits here, but I don't see any. So I'm just going to keep looking for a better spot to find some. Because my main goal is to finish some quests. Ooh, cobweb entanglement. There's probably a lot of spiders down here. I am not going that way. Found a new structure right here, though. Oh, never mind. It's a pillager structure. I'm not going in there. Pillagers are just dangerous. You do not mess with them. I just found a couple of bridges. I don't think there's anything on them, though. Okay, it's snowing and rainy. I just found this cozy little cabin, so hopefully there's some villagers in here and not a bunch of witches or pillagers or something. 
I can't actually find the door. Oh, okay, it's right here. I passed it. Doesn't seem like there's much good loot, but I should probably start taking these emeralds because they'll end up being super useful later. And some more bread because I'm almost out of that. In this cabin, I found this guy. I just need to trade him one book, and I think this is actually one of the achievements. But what is this guy doing? Why is he opening the door? Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to trade with him. He doesn't even want to trade right now. Okay, I don't know why this guy went outside. I just gotta save him. Okay, once he puts his bow away, I should be able to trade with him, though. Maybe? I'm just gonna block him in where he can't get hurt. That should work. Maybe he'll come back inside. Okay, I can trade with him. And that should be the quest. Okay, yeah, I did do it. I'm not gonna claim the reward because I don't need those right now. What is he summoning? Okay, that's weird. He's making some sound effects. Oh, I had to put it in. Okay, I'm gonna check this out. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea what that was supposed to do. Might have to look it up at some point, but at least I finished one of these achievements. And I can finish two more of them pretty easily, I feel like. Looks like there's actually a cute little bridge over there. I don't know if I've been to that yet. I did find some other bridges, but maybe this one has something under it and the other ones didn't. I still also have to try on my frying pan or skillet. Whenever I find something, I'm going to try it. And yeah, it seems like this bridge has nothing under it again, which is kind of sad. But that's alright, I just keep on my journey. I just, I'm looking for some animal to try my skillet. I don't see any still. But to be fair, I don't really know if this biome is known for spawning a bunch of mobs. Because it's really dense. Well, actually, it's not as dense as a forest, and that has a lot of mobs, so never mind. I still haven't found any animals, and I'm just now getting out of this biome. But I just remembered I could also just use the map to find stuff if I really wanted to. There's a couple of birds, but I'm not going to hit a bird with a pan. That's actually just awful. There's cantaloupes on the ground. That's kind of funny, but I don't think I really need cantaloupes. I just wanted to see what it was. Okay, it does seem like I'm on an ocean now, and I do not like swimming in boats. But yeah, it seems like I kind of have to. I could go back to this area, but I mean, maybe it's just worth it to swim. No, you know, I might actually go back there and follow this coastline. Oh, there's two whales. And then there's another whale. Hopefully those are all actually whales. I might be getting the animal wrong. I'm not the best at animal names. I don't really know a lot of them. Oh my gosh, they're eating squid. I want to swim across here, but I'm just a little bit afraid that they might try to eat me. But I guess they haven't tried to eat me yet, so they're probably passive unless I hit them first. Oh my gosh, my boat just got tossed away. Oh, there's so many varieties of bushes here. Those look so cute. I don't really know if I'm going to build anything in these 100 days, so I'm not going to take them. And even if I wanted to take them, my inventory is full, so I can't really. Oh, this biome is really cute, though. I love how the grass is so tall. It's called a grassland. Let me check my map as well. Yeah, there's a lot more land this way, so let's go straight for now, I think. I could always loop back this way, maybe. I still also have that waystone all the way back at that village that I clicked, so it's going to be on my map forever, I guess. I could probably remove it from my map, but I don't necessarily know how, so... I just clicked another waystone. Nice. Can I name it? I'm so confused. Select your destination. Okay, I don't know how it works. I need to find how to get those off my map eventually because I don't want like 80 waystones to be appearing on every single place in the map or whatever. But for now, there's only two, so I don't think it matters that much. And actually, I was just thinking, it's kind of weird for a waystone to spawn in the middle of a grassy biome place. Maybe not, but it just feels a little bit out of place. There's another house down here with those guys that trade the book, so I'm going to go check this out. Yeah, I also have to remember to look out for the backpacks, because I still need rabbit hide. I don't know if I've seen a rabbit, though, but I'll definitely start looking for them, especially hard, because I need an inventory room. Okay, so let's see what this guy trades. Yeah, he trades the blue journal again, so I don't- I already have one of those, so I don't need another one. And then his main house has nothing to steal again. Yes, some bread. Ooh, and one emerald. I could eventually trade for that other item these people are selling when I get more emeralds. It's called a zeal lighter, but I don't know what that does, to be honest. Oh, it actually seems pretty cheap to make. Used to ignite the Everbright and Everdawn portals. Alright, so it's used for a portal that I don't know how to make, but maybe I could look it up and go there. I don't know what the Everbright is. Okay, there's actually a wither achievement in the nether too, but you have to use a different block, so it's probably a more difficult wither. The nether monstrosity. Ignited revenant, awful ghast. Netherkeeper and Ignis. Well, maybe I could def try to defeat one of those guys too. And then the end has... Yeah, I'm not defeating two dragons. I've done that way too much recently. 
the shelter and a void crystal, the void warm. Okay, lots of interesting stuff, that's for sure. The other side. Uh, interesting. Well, this is in the overworld. I could do that too. Then there's the Aether Everdon. Yeah, I'm not sure. I kind of want to stick to the overworld if possible to keep things simple for now. Okay, there's a camp here, so it's the perfect time to try out my frying pan. Ooh, it is pretty powerful. There's another pillager here. And one more. Ouch. I gotta eat some golden carrots. Hey, they put a villager in their little trap here. I'm gonna let him out. Then what else? Two more emeralds. I'll take that. And some arrows. But I don't really have room. And a name tag bet. And name tags are pretty useless to me, I think. Let me check the map. Which way should I be going? Ooh, this is a lot of land all over the place. So I can kind of pick whichever way I want. Okay, I was running past some bears and they just randomly hit me. That's not very nice. Okay, I found some sort of shrine. I don't know what this is. Looks like a dog or something. But it doesn't seem like there's any room for a chest, so I think I'm good to go. But maybe there's one on top, so I'm gonna go look. Plus, it might be able to show me what this thing is better. Okay, I still have no idea what this is supposed to be. And there's no loot, so I'm gonna leave. Alright, it seems like this was a dead end. I'm just gonna boat over to the other side. Because there should be something right here in front of me. Hopefully I don't get attacked, though. There's a warden fisher in front of me. With one of those tridents. I think he's this way. I can see on the map. Actually, I don't know where he is. Well, I think I passed him, so he's not gonna attack me. And I'm pretty close to the place that I was trying to get to. Is this an island, though? Let me go check. Okay, it turns out it was an island, but there's still this area. But I have a feeling that might be an island, too. Okay, well, it's not an island because it's connected to the main thing, but it is small, so I'm gonna keep going forward. And maybe that'll lead to a another big area, but I might just have to go through a big ocean to find more land. I'm still just trying to find rabbits where I can use my inventory, so... I found another biome called a pasture, and it's... Like two tall flowers. It looks pretty interesting again. But I don't see any rabbits, unfortunately. I don't think they spawn here too. There's a huge copper thing right here. Maybe there's like a secret tunnel below it. <sighs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't know why there's copper though. Maybe it just attracts lightning if it's storming or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally don't know. This is weird. I don't know why that would be there. Because copper is such a useless block as well. Oh, there's another raccoon. I'm going to give him some bread. Seems like there's... Oh no, there isn't just one. There's multiple... Anyways, I uh, need to keep looking for the rabbits. I do see a village over here. That feels like a spot where you might be able to find a backpack and a chest. So I'm going to go look. I just have to get past this huge mountain. I just looted a bunch of hables from this village, which is going to be a good food source for a while, which is pretty nice. I'm coming up on a new biome, but it doesn't really look like the kind of place you'd find a rabbit still. But eventually I will find a desert and get that backpack. It might just take a little bit. This mod is pretty complex, so I bet if you go into a cold biome, you find cold biomes. But I guess there's sand right here, so maybe I'm not right. Because this is cold right here, so maybe I have to avoid being cold. I might go over here and check to prove my theory correct or false. Yeah, I mean, this stuff looks a little cold. Let me just go this way then, because this isn't necessarily warm yet, but it's probably warmer than a taiga. There's some kind of wagon right here. Maybe that's the type of thing that'll have a backpack in it. Oh, and there's a tower that way. Nice, two structures to explore. Okay, the wagon has some hay bales, but there might be something hidden back here. Okay, there's a chest and the chest is useless but i have some more hay bales for bread all right this watchtower has another chest with two emeralds nothing too good but it's better than the hay bales in another place yeah there's nothing else for you but there's nothing else for me here so i guess there's another structure this way i can go check that too there's some pillagers at this one and there's a pillager guy that does a lot of damage so i have to be very careful not to get hit by him might just be able to swoop in and grab all the loot. One emerald and some arrows, but I can't really hold those, I don't think. Oh, actually, I can throw the snowballs out. Other than that, this seems like it's it, so I'm going to leave to avoid getting in a dangerous situation. I see this really big wood thing in my map, so I think I'm going to go check it out and see what it is. Because maybe it's a big structure with some loot in it. Okay, I'm here, and it seems like it's just an oak woodland mansion, so I think I'm going to leave. I don't want to accidentally die, because these people do a lot of damage. Okay, why is there a Sheba in this mod? That's so dumb. I'll just leave and be over there. There's also a big ocean here, so I'm gonna go on my boat and hope that I find a desert or something. There's a really cute house over here. I'm gonna go check this out. Is that a mountain? What the heck? There's lots of mountains over here. Well, there is a dune beach and a beach over here, so maybe it'll turn into a desert. And there's some sort of structure right here, it looks like, so I'm gonna go check that out at the very least. It looks like a big wizard tower or something. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. This seems like the top of the list that would have a bunch of monsters, so hopefully there 
aren't a bunch and I'm safe in here. I'm gonna steal this black bed instead of my orange one too because I like that color better. Is the tower already over? Like, you know, there's another trap door right here. And I still don't see any monsters, so I think it's safe to go up. And I do have my skillet if there are any monsters. I might be able to beat them. Okay, there's one chest with a couple pieces of iron. Nothing too useful yet. I think this is supposed to be a lighthouse. Okay, is there another floor? Okay, this is just the lighting. And that's actually it, so... Oh, if you click it once, all the lights spin around forever. That's really cool. But I should probably stop it, because it might cause lag or something. Okay, well, that's it for this tower. But there was something this way, I think. Another structure. Yeah, I can go check that out, too. A seagull just stole bread for me. What the heck? I didn't know that was even possible. At least it was only a piece of bread, I think. All right, I'm at the other yeah, structure already. Ooh, four emeralds. That's better than any structure I've found yet. There's a lot of bookshelves in here, though. Another emerald. Ooh, and three more. Okay, this has actually been pretty good compared to everything else. Another chest with some bread. I'll take it. And then the top of the tower. Ooh, an unbreaking two power two bow. I'll steal that for now. And a saddle, which I might be able to use, so I'll steal that. And there's another thing over there. It looks like an oak pillager temple. Okay, there's a lot of pillagers right here. I don't know if it's very safe. I kind of want to loot the chest, though. Usually, you don't have anything in them, but this mod may have changed it. Well, they're going to keep hitting each other down. Just need to block this off. Okay, I'm getting too low. I got to leave. Okay, I'm getting really low. Maybe I can just jump in if they'll have bows. Okay, that wasn't even worth it. That loot sucks. Okay, I need my second golden apple. And I will keep running. At least I don't have to carry golden apples in an inventory slot now. That's kind of a positive of using them. There's a waystone here, though. I'm not sure if I should get it. I probably shouldn't. There's nothing notable around here, from what I know. Well, from what it looks like, I think the best choice right now is to swim straight across the ocean. Because I'm still really struggling on finding a desert for some reason. Well, there's more sand, but again, it's just a beach, so... I don't really know. I haven't seen any rabbits anywhere else, too, so it just kind of sucks. I don't know why it's so difficult to get a backpack. At least I've been exploring some new structures, and I've found a couple of good things. Okay, well, I might as well go up this tower if I'm already here. Maybe there's also something hidden down here. I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Then what is up in the chest again? Some bread. Yeah, the loot is always really underwhelming. Okay, well, there's a village here, and I think that's maybe a wandering trader camp again. Or actually, I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like one. Either way, I'm going to go look at all the houses here and see what there is. Is that an aquarium in the house? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Well, I looted all the other houses and they all are very empty, so I'm hoping that this last one has something. Okay, this guy owns this aquarium, I guess. But there's nothing good in here. There's some more copper golems. Did they ever wake up? Um, oops, I did not mean to hit him. Oh, there's more houses over here too. Oh, nice. This one has nothing. Okay. And then this aquarium house also has nothing except some nautilus shells, which I don't need. Oh, this is cool. What is this? Like a says bounty board i guess you can get stuff and bring it back there and there's a snow biome which is the opposite of what i'm looking for i think a snow biome is like the last place i should be going into if i want to find rabbits but i can't find them anywhere so i might as well just try anything at this point okay i did find a new structure in this stone place maybe this stuff will actually have some good loot for once maybe it's like a mini village because at this rate i'm just lost i've just been exploring a lot looking at new biomes which has definitely been fun but i want to start making some progress Oh, it seems like this is a villager camp. Or a pillager camp, I mean. I don't know, this is probably too dangerous to go into. Oh my gosh, someone fold me in here, that's so creepy. I mean, honestly, I can't just hide. So I've just gotta go in and try it. If I die, then it is what it is. Okay, some more emeralds. Anything else up here? Some trims, but I don't need trims. That's really useless to me right now. And I don't have inventory room. That's why I'm trying to get a backpack. Ooh, an alley up here. What's up, guys? Okay. One more place to look. More chests. But again, I don't really need this stuff. All right, the last room. Ooh, a villager was in here. I unleashed him. Okay. I guess that wasn't as scary as it looked. Because I survived easily. And I got the shield from there, so... I think these guys drop a couple emeralds each. Might be worth it to kill them. Never mind, I'm getting low. I'm just gonna leave. Okay, my pickaxe broke. I need to go find a tree somewhere. But I can't cross this because it's all powdered snow. I gotta go around it. Oh my gosh, wait, I actually see rabbits up there. 
I can use my looting three gold sword. Okay, I have no rabbit spawn in a snow biome, but I guess it's a good thing I came here. Are those grown up rabbits? I hope so. Okay, I need to throw something out. But what isn't important? Oh, I could put. Wait, how do you apply these books? Okay, I don't think you can. I got two hide from that rabbit, and this one will give me. If I can hit him. Yeah, I don't know if I can. <laughs> Alright, I have five. I think I need six for a backpack. So hopefully there's a rabbit nearby somewhere. Yeah, I just need one more. Then I need some string, but I can get that from spiders pretty easily. Or a handful of structures, even. Okay, I already found some more rabbits. Let me just get these guys, and then I should be able to craft that backpack up after I get some string. I just don't know where string actually spawns at, so I might have to look for some. It might take me a while. Where's this other rabbit? I might as well get him, too. Did he fall into a cave? Because it says he's next to me. Never mind, I found him. How much do I have now? Ten? Okay. One of these houses might have string in them, so I'll go check. Okay, I got the string I needed, so let me just craft this backpack before I can finally have some inventory space. Uh, how do I even use this? Okay, how do I open it? Okay, maybe it's a control. Let me go look. And now that I finally have a backpack, I can put all the stuff that I don't need right now into it, and I can finally start picking some more items up. So I think all of this is stuff I don't really need right now. I'll go ahead and put all that in there. Now I have a full inventory. There's a couple new animals over here. It looks like this one is naturally aggressive though, so I've got to be careful. There's two snow leopards here too. That's kind of cute. I think one of them is sleeping. Then the other one just went into this cave. And it seems like they're not naturally aggressive like the other animals that hit me before. There's another one of those sky islands. I might try to stack up there. I need a couple more blocks if I want to do that, I think. And I don't know if there's a... And I don't know if there's actually a tree nearby, so maybe I'll just go to the next one I see instead. I can also see my backpack on my back right here. That's a pretty cool texture. I can also see my backpack on my back. That's a pretty cool texture. And there's like a orca, I think. Okay, yeah, I looked and it is called an orca. And I got an achievement called Free Willy. I'm not sure if I understand what that means, but that's pretty cool. And there's some sort of special structure underwater right here. I don't know if I should be scared or what, because this could be like a boss. Sunken City. Okay, that's interesting. I think I might explore this. I'm just gonna make a bunch of doors before I can breathe underwater easier. Then let's go see if I can enter this place. I don't know if there's an actual city or maybe it's just a big structure or what. But there's only one way to find out. So far there is nothing. Could mine in though. Ooh, okay, there is something in here. Okay, there's a big drop, first of all. Ooh, and then there's a lot of a squid. And there's four portal spots. Oh my gosh. This place is not safe. I gotta run away. Oh my gosh, wait, there's multiple of those warring guys right there. This is dangerous. Ooh, okay, this is like a fighting arena place. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. I don't have the gear. So let me get out as fast as I can without dying. Thankfully, I realized that it was dangerous before I kind of went all in. So I'm not gonna pay the ultimate price, which would be dying. And I'm back at the surface already. I'm sure I'll find a structure that I can go into soon. But yeah, for now I'm gonna keep sailing. How big is this ocean I'm in? Oh my gosh. Seems like I will go to the right. Uh, might be at some land faster, so I'm gonna try that. Okay, well, I finally found some land. It took me way too long. Now I'm just hoping there is something that can give me some better loot or maybe a cave nearby that I can go into before I can get started on getting some better gear to play more of the mod pack. It seems like there's a big structure right here, but it might be infested with pillagers by the looks of the map. Yeah, that does way too much damage. I can't even go here. This guy throws an axe at me. Oh my gosh. How did he hit me? Maybe the axe is like homing or something, or it's like a boomerang. What is this? Just a little shrine? Okay, well, I guess there's another place I can't go because it's too dangerous. I need to find a cave. This might be a cave right below me. I don't know, though. I'm also going to use up most of my axe durability to get a lot more wood, so that way I have blocks to stack up. Because if I could get full diamond from those little sky base things, then maybe I could go into a building or cave easier. It seems like there's some lapis up here in this well. I'm going to take that. And is this a big cave next to me? Ooh, perfect. I do wish I had a little bit more stuff. So maybe I should make something. But I mean, if I make like diamond boots with no enchantments, that's not going to do much. So I guess I'll just save them. And I'll just be extra careful. So let me put some water down and go down here. All right, and there is some um, coal right here, so I can grab this and make some torches, so I'll be able to see a little bit better. I have a twig. What the heck? All right, there we go. I'll grab the other coal too, for I can make a bunch of torches, then I can start placing them. Hopefully, I find a lot of diamonds in this cave. 
Or I guess, what am I even looking for? Oh yeah, I can make a diamond pick so I can get some obsidian for an enchantment table. Because enchantments could help me be a little bit more protected too. And I can always use it to mine faster if I ever get a little irritated at how slow it's going. There's so many spiders. I think this is like a spider cave. But there is two chests there. It could be pretty good. Oh my gosh, it spawned a bunch of skeletons. I need to back up. Because I'm actually really low already. Maybe I should make an iron sword. Or I could use my skillet. That's a little faster. Actually, I take that back. It's not faster at all. I gotta make some more food too. So let me back up all the way to here. And I'll use this little mini cave as cover. Then I will make some more bread. Okay, 56 is definitely enough. Then I'll make a sword because it's just faster and I can get damage out quicker. Okay, this thing doesn't really have any loot in it. So I think I'm just going to leave and keep looking for stuff. I just got a totem of illusion. I'm not really sure what that does, but I have it, I guess. And there's three diamonds right here. So I'm going to mine all these up. This place has been dangerous and I've been dodging all sorts of monsters. So honestly, I kind of want to go up. I might just see if I can find some obsidian first. I'm already getting shot at again. And I have the blindness, so gotta be careful. There might be something down here. I'm gonna check. And if there's nothing, I'm just gonna stack back up. I really wanna find some like dungeons or structures that I can actually go into as well. Maybe that's one up there, but there has to be something you can go into with iron armor and I immediately die, like the pillager outposts. Maybe there isn't, but maybe there is, so I'm gonna keep looking. I'll also keep my eye out for a cave, because I could just mine some diamond armor, like I said earlier, and that could help me stay protected. Okay, well, so far this doesn't look very threatening, which could change because there's a basement. There's nothing down here, though. Ooh, Unbreaking 3 book. And Efficiency 4, I'll take that. I don't know if it's as useful. Let me break this string. Okay, that's it. There's also some emerald and gold, which I will take. And I will explore the second floor of this place. Another chest. Ooh, there's actually some armor in here. This is the best loot I've found yet. It is only unbreaking though, so technically my iron armor is better than that. Oh my gosh, there's a free enchantment table. I'm gonna put some of my stuff in my backpack and take that too. And there's a free anvil, which means I could put my breaking three book on something already. And bookshelves, nice. I'll definitely enchant some stuff soon. I just don't have a lot of lapis, so I'll need to get some more in the cave. A brewing stand might come in handy, and that seems to be it. So maybe I should go over here and look what that is. Okay, there's actually a secret chest under these things. I didn't even know that before. Looting 2 Fire Aspect 2. Honestly, that's not that bad. I still have a Looting 3 Gold Sword 2, which will help me in the future. I'll carry around this Looting 2 one for now. I'm gonna use the map to see if I can find anything around me. Did I miss something? Doesn't look like it. it does seem like there's a camp right here. And where am I? Okay, right here. I could go check that out if I haven't been there already. I think I'm going to go look and see if there's anything good there. It seems like a pillager outpost, but I think it's worth checking. Yeah, there are pillagers there because I see them spawning in on my map. And usually these things have really bad loot, but like I said, I'm just going to give it a try. Yeah, it is one of the mini ones. Let me just shoot that guy because he does the most damage. And I should be able to get the rest of these guys easily. I'll actually try my golden sword. I think it's probably just better to use my iron one. Also, the pillagers have been dropping platinum chunks this whole time. I don't know if I should be keeping them. Maybe I should start because you might be able to craft something useful. All right, please don't shoot me. Again, there's one chest. Okay, the arrows are super useful. So I'm almost out. But except for that, nothing good. And I think there's only one chest actually. I don't see anything else on my map. I think I'll keep going straight then. These are just a bunch of open stone places. Nothing to explore there. There's a bird right here. I'm gonna see what bird this is if I can get close. A blue jay, nice. I'm on this like big extended hill area. It's kind of cool, but I do not see any structures yet, unfortunately, which is what I'm kind of looking for. Ooh, I see a house there. I think that's the house I've been finding over and over again. It has like the blue zapper guy who sells like two things. I'm gonna go check. I'm also up to 39 emeralds, that's a lot. If I find a village, I might be able to buy something good. And there's an emerald in the side of the mountain here. Yeah, I was right. This is... What is this guy's name? Rhett? I'll call him the Zeolighter guy or Blue Journal guy. Anyways, though, yeah, he doesn't have anything in his house, usually. There's some bookshelves I could steal. Oh, well, there's actually some bread and emeralds, which both of those are useful to me. Snowcap Pinhead. Interesting. 
He has a bed upstairs. Nothing else for me to steal. I can check the attic. It just has some wheat. Alright, well, I already have the lighter. The blue journal lighter, whatever it's called, so I'm gonna leave. So I'm not really interested in that, anyway. And I will keep on going straight, hoping to find something somewhere. I don't think that's anything I thought it was for a sec. It was actually a forest. It looks kind of like a dark oak forest. So maybe there'll be a, a mansion or something. I think I already found one, though. Okay, well, this is a really huge mountain. I don't think there's anything in the valley, so I'm just gonna follow the mountain, I guess, and go to the right around all of this. Plus, if there is something, I'll be able to see it easier from up here, so I think it benefits me to stay up here. I found another one of these shrines, so I could check for the secret chest. And there is a another sword. This one has soul stealing enchant. I don't really know what that is, but I guess I'll keep it. And there's another underwater thing, which I should not go to. But there's also this sky base again, so I'm going to stack up with my wood. And maybe I can get some more diamonds. Because I could also just enchant my like level 1 too if I get full diamond armor. Because I got the enchantment table. So it is really worth it to go up here. I currently have 6 diamonds. Which is anything too great. But it's a good start. There's 2 diamonds already. I'm going to get both of those. And make sure I don't drop it by accident. And I need the lapis because I don't really have a lot of that either. Another secret chest. Please don't be useless. Thorns 2 book. Okay it's useless. It seems like I got lucky on the last island because I think I mined all the stone and there's no diamonds left. So I guess I only got two from this island, which is still a lot for an island in the sky. Ooh, and like three more emeralds. I'll put those in my backpack. So my eight diamonds and 50 emeralds almost. And I'm going to get my boat out because I'm going to keep going straight. Just past this huge thing next to me. And there's an orca near me trying to give me an effect. We've orca's might. I don't know what that does. This shipwreck could have a couple of iron or maybe even a diamond. Maybe I should go check real quick. I think the minerals chest or whatever is right here. It just has some iron and one piece of lapis. Maybe there's some good food in the chest too. I might as well check. Two armor trims and a buried treasure map. I would be down to go to the treasure map. It just doesn't seem like... Ooh, I am going towards it. Nice. I can actually get it. It looks like I'm on track to go towards the treasure should be up here somewhere. I don't really see anything yet, but it tells me it's right here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe it's in the sky? Let me get some doors out. Okay, I did find it. Let me go see. I just need to mine this one block. Please be something good. Am I stuck? Am I stuck? Okay, there we go. Uh, why won't let me break it? I think my game's lagging or something. Okay, one piece of TNT. Water breathing potions. I'll go ahead and drink one of those. Some fish that I don't really need. Some gold and two diamonds. There's a heart of the scene here too. I guess I'll take that. That was pretty solid. Two free diamonds. Oh, and it looks like there's a village in front of me from looking at the map. So I'm going to go see if there's anything good there too. I already see a tent. Is this a chest? Nice. And this is some sort of custom something i don't know what that's doing okay well these chests are useless but there's probably more up here so far nothing in these Ooh, this house looks pretty good one emerald and i might as well steal the bookshelves if i'm not gonna get anything else good i should make a new axe mine's about to break looks like there's actually a, like a greenhouse too up there that's so cute i'm gonna go look inside i doubt there'll be anything good but an emerald I can steal. This is cute though, I like that. There's another greenhouse, but I only found one emerald and it looks like this is the last house. So another useless village, three bread, and I'm gonna keep going straight. Is there anything good though? Well, there's a house next to me, but it looks like another one of those same things I've been to a lot. But on the off chance it is something new, I'll go over there. Okay, there's a watchtower next to me. Maybe there'll be some loot in here. I feel like I found something really good in the watchtower earlier. Bro, what? This loot sucks. Okay. Time to keep looking. I'm going over to this building still. Hopefully there's a diamond. Why would there be a diamond in here though? I don't think I found one of those yet. Maybe just some more emeralds. Okay, bread. And more bread. Wait a second, I just saw something up there. So what if I take one of these? Okay, I need eight emeralds. Then I buy this. Okay, what if I like this? Is this a portal? I didn't really want to go to different dimensions, but maybe I should. Oh my gosh, it's a different dimension. I'm going in. The Everbright, I think this is. 
Or maybe I read it wrong. Either way, what the heck? Is there anything good here? I gotta keep track of where my portal is. I don't wanna get lost. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure there's anything useful for me. So I think I might just leave. But I could come back here later. I'm not opposed to it. It's just, yeah, I don't really know much about this biome. Maybe I should go read. Oh my gosh, I collected some rewards and I have 39 levels. That's crazy. Quests are OP. I mean, everybody, maybe. So I'm in it. I need to collect four dungeon keys. Okay. I mean, I don't really know where the dungeons are. And it says my tools don't work as good in here. So I don't really think I should be in here until I learn what it is. Maybe I'll get some better armor and stuff. But I'm glad I actually went in there. I wasn't really planning on it because I was scared. But maybe I'll go back in there later. Might be time to finally make some diamond armor. So I'm ready though. If I do end up finding another pillager outpost or anything. Bouncy ball. I almost lost my bouncy ball. Does this even do anything though? I don't. I think it's useless. All right, so if I just make a diamond chest plate, so then I have a protection one diamond chest plate, then maybe I could pit on breaking three on it, but I should wait until I get better enchant, because I could also pit that on a better item, so I'll keep my book. The other book I have is efficiency four, which might actually be worth applying to my pick. Four levels, I think that's worth it. And then maybe just some sharpness on here. Okay, perfect. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Now if I do end up finding something, I'll be a little bit more prepared. I see some pillagers on my map. I think it might be time to test out my chest plate and sharpness one sword. It should be right down here. And I guess I'll just go in for an attack. I could use my fire aspect golden sword. I don't see the axe guy yet. And he's the most dangerous in these little camps. But there might- oh there is one and he's chasing me. Okay, I got him, but he actually almost killed me, so next time I'm going to be more careful. Yeah, so many arrows. This place is definitely worth coming to, just for the arrows every time. And I guess I'll just keep exploring. It's this way. Is there any structures I can see on the map, though? Ooh, yes, a huge village, it looks like. So I'll definitely go that way. And if I see any more islands in the sky, I'm going to stack up to them to keep collecting diamonds. There's a big snow mountain there. But yeah, unfortunately, I don't think snow mountains have any loot in them. Or anything of excitement. It does look pretty cool, especially since it's not really in a snow biome. I like how it looks. Yeah, this is a really big village. It's also like going up the mountain, it looks really weird because like the terrain is all messed up. There's also a cave next to this place. I might go in here and check if there's any place that goes way deeper. Oh, there's also a spawner. Yeah, this might be worth checking out after the village. I could check it out first too, but I think I'll do it after in case I find some good loot to use down here. The first house has no chest. And then the second house, why am I griefing them? Sorry. Rotten flesh and flower pots. That's really useless. A fishing rod. Well, baked potato, that's not that bad. It's not useful, but it's better than flower pots, that's for sure. That. That was all of the houses on the first layer, and now I'm on the second layer. Some coal. This is like a blacksmith. He has a diamond. Iron gloves. So what do these do? I thought there was like an information tab or something. Ah, uh, yeah, I have no idea. I'll keep those for when my golden gloves break. And then there's also bottom half iron that I can replace mine with. And then that's it for this house. But it's okay, because they actually gave me a lot of good loot. Might as well steal the coal. Nothing else good. Hello, villager. What is this? A church? Another chest? Ooh, a gold ample. It's turning nighttime. I think all the villagers are wanting to go to bed. I have to ransack their houses first before I let them do that. At least I'm getting a lot of free food. Because I don't like food. Or having to make it. Okay, there's a lot in here. Oh my gosh. Another swamp room in the house. I don't really know what the point of that is. Oh, it's because they fish in their house. That's cute. Okay, that's the second layer of the village. I have to go up to the third layer. But I also just saw this. It's another one of those houses with the blue guy. So I'm gonna go see if he has anything to steal too. Well, so far there's only bread. The last chest I have to check is the top one. Yeah, only bread. But, I mean, there could have been something, so I don't regret looking. Alright, now I'm on the final layer of houses. Hopefully I find something good up here. Maybe a diamond sword or some pants. I don't think they'll spawn in these villages though, so I'm out of luck. Yeah, there's only some meat over here in the butcher shop, and that chest is empty. This house has a chest. Some leather gloves, I mean, I might as well take them. And what is this? 
some more big potatoes. I mean, why not? And I believe this is the final house I have to check. And it has nothing in it, so I looted the whole village. I'm slowly getting more gear. I've been through like almost 30 days at this rate, and I haven't really done that much except for explore, but this is a brand new mod pack to me, so. And I thought it'd be a lot easier to find gear, but I guess not. Okay, I found like a church over here. That chest is useless. Ooh, Thorns one book, which sucks, and some Amethyst. Which also sucks, I don't need that. Okay, well, this was kind of a bust again. And I do not see anything else. I'll check my map again in a minute though. Okay, I found a piece of wood randomly. I kind of expect there to be a structure here, but it's just a piece of wood with some rails on it. Okay, what is that though? That's some sort of structure I haven't seen yet. Ooh, and there's two chests, I like that. Riptide 2, useless, and an ender pearl. Okay, unfortunately all of this was useless, but maybe there's something under here? What even is this? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't been looking around for a while and I just hit this ocean, so I think it's time to sail again. Hopefully I find something fast. There's also another bridge here, but the bridges have like nothing on or under them. They are very useless. So hopefully this doesn't take too long. There's something sleeping here. I'm gonna go see what this guy's called. A catch a lot whale or something? Cool. He's sleeping. That's actually really cute. Oh, there's actually another sky base here. I'm gonna stack up and get that. I just gotta swim over to it. I just got up here and I've already got two diamonds. Hopefully there's at least more than that up here. Maybe not. We'll see, I guess. There's a lot of lapis. One more diamond. Hopefully the secret chest has an enchantment book in it. Or maybe I'll find one somewhere else. Yeah, this one doesn't. Ooh, another diamond. Seems like that's kind of it, though. I don't think there's anything else up here. Four diamonds is definitely good, though, just for stacking up, like, a stack of blocks. So now I will go ahead and keep swimming. Let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Which way is it? This way. And I'll put some stuff away in my backpack. Okay, this looks like some sort of structure under me. Or like an upgraded temple. I'm not too interested in it, though. There is another sky base tower. I'm gonna go to that. And there's at least three diamonds. I already see them from down here. Okay, well, I only got two. Oh, no, there's three diamonds, but that one was hidden. So I either dropped a diamond or I didn't actually see three. I don't know if I can stay here for long, though. So I guess if I missed one, it's okay. Okay, well, once again, there's another sky base. So I should probably go get the stuff because I might be able to make full diamond if there's enough diamonds up here. Or at least I'm pretty close to being able to do it. All right, I'm gonna keep on swimming. Hopefully I find more land soon, but now I have a total of 12 diamonds, so I could make some pants when I get up to new land. There is something right here, but I'm not sure how big it is. It kind of looks like an island. It seems like there's a village up here in front of me. Maybe there'll be something special there. And there's some seals on the beach over there. That's cute. Okay, I think this is actually just a tavern again or something. So I don't know if there's gonna be anything in here. I will have a peek though. Okay, well, the best thing I found was this buried treasure map. Maybe it'll actually lead me somewhere. I don't think I'm on this map, so I don't really know how I'm supposed to get there. I think this is a dud, but I will keep on sailing to new land. It actually looks like I don't need to sail anymore, though. And there's a ruined portal up there in front of me, so let me go this way. Okay, the ruined portal is here. I don't know if there's a chest, though. But honestly, the chest usually kind of sucks anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And I'm in a bayou, which looks to be very big. So hopefully I find a new structure. Maybe some sort of dungeon, that'd be fun. Okay, well, there's a well here that has nothing in it. And there's also a cave, but it doesn't look like it leads anywhere. There's also a sign here that says there's a village. So I'm going to go ahead and go 3,000 blocks this way, I guess. And hopefully there's something good in the village. There's also another pillager camp here, so I'm going to go this way. I don't think these places are really known to have good loot, but you never know. It's worth a try, I guess. And if I go right here, I can check this top chest. Oh, my gloves broke. Let me put some new ones on. There we go. All right, the chest has nothing in it that's useful. Some arrows, but... And I'm getting some arrows from all of these villagers, which is also nice. All right, there's four more of them. Let me eat some bread. Getting kind of low. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I'm just gonna let them come up, because I could get so many emeralds from this. I do need to be a little bit careful. Yeah, well, I don't know why there's so many of them. Let me eat a golden apple. My 
golden swords broke. I also have the voluntary exile achievement. So that means I have bad omen. Gotta be careful. I need to beat a village, but I'm not gonna be able to deal with this gear. How many emeralds did I get from that? 26? Okay, I have a lot now. So I think that's pretty worth it, honestly. That's a lot of gear. I should empty out this place of all the garbage that I don't need in my actual inventory too. Okay, well, that raid is starting, so I guess I, in a village, I didn't even realize. I just gotta be careful and get out of here because I do not want to fight any raiders. Okay, looks like the raiders are behind me. Sorry, villagers, I wish I could help, but you're out of luck today. Maybe those spider webs is like a spider dungeon. I'm gonna go over there. Ooh, there's also another sign. This might be the village I was heading towards. Never mind, it's the village behind me. Okay, I don't know if this is just like an infested cave or... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really see any chests or like an area to go into, so I'm gonna skip it. But it very well could be a dungeon. I'm just missing something. I would like to get over this hill, but it doesn't seem very easy, so... Maybe I'll go all the way around this way. It doesn't seem like there's anything interesting on the map either, so I'm still looking. It might be a good idea to go into the nether. I, I think I'll do that if I find some easy obsidian. Because maybe there'll be some better loot in there. There's another tower right here, but is there anything good in it is the question. Are these bookshelves? I don't know, let me see. Okay, they're not. And then the top of the tower is empty, so straight it is. There's a wagon right here. Might as well look if there's anything in it. One single chest and nothing. This is a really cool biome. There's some like rhinos here. And it seems like they only attack if you run up from behind them. I almost just died. I gotta be more careful. I think now may be a good time to make some diamond pants. And then I can enchant them in my enchantment table. Protection one I think is pretty good. Then what else should I use? I might enchant some diamond boots too, because why not? I can get protection one. It was only protection one though, that sucks. I was hoping for protection one and breaking one. And then I'll just replace my iron helmet. I'll re-enchant them later when I get more stuff, but I also want to make another iron axe because I'm out of that because it broke. And having an axe is pretty useful. Alright, there we go. I got everything ready again so I can go ahead and leave and keep looking for stuff. It looks like there's a structure in front of me over there. It doesn't look that big. It probably won't be anything good, but I think I'm going to go check. There's some rails inside of this amethyst crystal. I'm going to go check. Oh, it's a mine shaft. That's interesting. Maybe there'll be something down here. I have to make some torches though. Now that I have some torches, I can see a lot better. It kind of just looks like a dead end, unfortunately. I was hoping there'd be at least like a chest or something. There's a lot of spider webs down this way. We're gonna go see it. I think it's just a normal cave spider spawner though. It's nothing special. Okay, there's one cave spider. I'm gonna break this for the XP. Anything else down here? Eh. All right, there's one chest down here. There's a book, but it's Thorns 1. I do not need a Thorns 1 book. I'm gonna keep looking. Looks like the cave gets a lot bigger down here, so I'm gonna try and see if there's anything. Cause it's been a while since I was in a cave, so maybe it's time to try again. Looks like there's a big mine shaft this way. Ooh, ouch. Oh yeah, it is a big mine shaft and there's an open mine shaft to the side. So I'm gonna look through all of this. There's some chests down here, but there's nothing in them. Just some bombs, which I'll take, because they might be useful at some point. There's a skillet in this chest. I could replace my skillet, because it looks like it's a little better. Can I combine them? Ooh, I can combine the skillets. Nice. There's also another chest right here. I'm gonna go check what's in it. Another skillet and a blue bomb, okay. Again, I don't know if these bombs are useful, but I'm gonna take them, because it seems like they could be. And there's yet another chest. Unbreaking three book, that's really good. Except for that, that chest is pretty useless. Okay, it looks like I found a room with a bunch of spiders in it. And a spider spawner. But it seems like it's just a single room, unfortunately. It's not like a dungeon or anything, which is what I've been trying to find. So I guess the search continues. There's some bones in here, though. I mean, that's not that bad. What the heck is this guy? It's like a little goblin. Rascal? Yeah, I don't know what that guy's supposed to do. Doesn't seem like he's aggressive, though. Is he invisible right here? Okay, what happens if I fight this guy? Okay, I don't know. I'm just leaving. I'm scared. Is there any diamonds down here? I don't see any so far. So far, there's still no extra diamonds. But it's not that big of a deal. I wish I found some dungeon or something down here, but I didn't. So I think I'm actually going to head up now. Because I don't know. I feel like I explored most of this cave. There is a bigger part of the cave here, but it's not really diamond level either. So I'm still trying to find my way up. 
There's lots of pots for some reason down here too. I think this is just about as high as it goes, so I guess I'll start stacking up from here. Seems like up here to the left, there is actually a village again. So I'm gonna go ahead that way. Seems like it's like an acacia village. There's lots of more land in front of me too. The savannah in this mod looks a lot better than the vanilla one though. Okay, this village had literally nothing in it, but there is this really nice looking lighthouse or something over here with a little house next to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go check if there's anything in this. I think it's a villager structure too. I don't see any villagers. Okay, so far there's nothing, but I'm going up the tower, which will probably also have nothing, but I'm gonna check still. Okay, yeah, there's no chest up here, so I guess I have to keep looking for new things. There's one last thing left, which is this structure. I'm kind of trying to head towards the right now. Okay, there's another structure right here. I'm going to go ahead and go look inside. It looks like there's some pillagers that stay here. So I might have to do a little bit of fighting. Okay, well, it looks like it's glitching again and I can't break blocks. Or maybe it's on purpose. I don't even know, but it's definitely weird. What is this? A big hole and a piston door. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of... Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. I think this is too dangerous. I don't think I could just break in. Okay, this guy's chasing me, so I can bow him down. I think it's time to throw a bomb. Okay, the bomb doesn't even explode blocks. I didn't know that. I can break in now. And... Okay, what is this guy summoning? Oh no, there's two axe people. That's dangerous. Where are they, though? Okay, I just got hit again. I gotta stay back and bow. I'm gonna get a golden apple and see if I can go in again. Just finish off these guys. Okay, that's a Vex Summoner. Definitely don't want to mess with him. If I kill him, I think I get a totem. Please don't summon more guys. Yes, I have a totem. Nice. I mean, I could keep exploring this place if I have protection. A free diamond hoe. It's probably the best loot I've found this whole 100 days. Nothing in the other chest. And just some candles. Okay, there's a staircase down to the other part. I think I'm going to go down there and see if there's, like, anything. Because there might be a bunch of loot. Alright, the staircase is safe. Now... I need to get through this water. Oh, this is like a huge dungeon, it looks like. Alright, the first room. These guys aren't that dangerous, I don't think. In the chest. Okay, two whole golden apples. That's a lot of stuff. And a notch apple. Oh, there's an axe guy here, right here. And another emerald. Okay, and I can keep exploring. Was there a different room this way, though? Kind of forget. Okay, no. I have to go straight. Why is this place flooded with water? <laughs> what is this guy? It's like a custom one. Good thing I have my bow. Okay, is there any loot in here? There is one chest, but the chest doesn't have anything in it. Okay, this is a really big dungeon area next to me. Oh my gosh, and there's a lot of enemies. But so far, I haven't taken much damage. But that's kind of changing. Let me use my bow. Maybe this guy will drop me his bow. It seems pretty good. Gave me some arrows. I guy didn't do anything. Ooh. This looks like a food room. Oh, by the way, it's laid out. Okay, there's just nothing in here. That's weird. Oh, a secret door. So this is the place that I just came, first came down at, too. Oh my gosh. There's three people again. There's one and another guy. Let me finish him off. Any books? Nope. There was somebody to the right. Yeah, here he is. If I'm careful, then they don't really hit me. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what this guy's holding. And I um, need to eat some more food. So far, there's been no extra loot down here, though. I was kind of hoping there'd be a lot. This is just a cave. Okay, I think this is another room. I'm not sure if I checked it. Okay, I didn't check it, because there's lots of loot in here. Someone's sneaking up on me. Okay, now I was hearing things, I guess. This room is empty. I think I'm going in a circle. Oh, another bedroom. Nothing in there. And there's another bedroom chest. Oh, we have more gold apples. And a protection 4 book. I'm gonna take that. And more diamonds, which is nice. Okay, it looks like I can go back now. Everything is looted. Okay, there's another chest with more gold apples, which are nice for healing. And more emeralds. I guess I could take the gold too. But then other chests are empty. <laughs> I just found some monkeys and they're really cute. And really big ants. They're just running around all over the place. I'm in a sparse jungle biome. And there's multiple different types of the monkeys. So that's it. It's really cute. Still just looking for new structures though. 
There's a volcanic plains in front of me and some sort of structure right here, so... I think I should check that structure out first, and then maybe go to the new biome. Okay, well, I got to the house, and <laughs> it's just another one of those taverns, so... There's not really anything to steal in here. There was some hay, which I took, in case I need more food. But other than that, it looks pretty empty. Ooh, there's a treasure map. Yeah, I don't see myself on it though, so I don't really know if I can go there. I don't know, maybe I can. Okay, it looks like I have found a structure right here. I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe it's another dungeon. It is really dark in here though. It almost kind of looks like a stronghold or something. I don't know what this is. There's some gold in this chest, though. Maybe I'll find some better loot. Okay, the other building I was in didn't really have anything. There's also a mine shaft here, but I don't really want to go all the way down there. So I'm just going to keep looking. But I have a lot of gear now. I can make a diamond helmet. And I have 35 levels. So maybe if I find a village, I should try to do a raid. The only bad part about that is that I only have protection one. So maybe I could try to change that somehow. I could start making some bookshelves, actually. So let me start getting some wood. All right, I have 21 bookshelves now. So if I keep collecting them, I can make a level 30 enchantment table. I also need to keep gaining some more XP, hopefully. There's an achievement that I see right now too that's really easy to finish in the overworld section, so I'm gonna go finish it. I just have to get 8 sand and melt it and then make an aquarium block. Alright, this should be the last glass and is this the recipe? Okay, it is, the aquarium. So now let me check my quest. And I have finished it, nice. So can I do anything else after that? No. Maybe I have to finish all of these quests. Okay, I need two more glass and three cobbled deep slates. So let me get three more glass and melt that, then I'll keep on exploring. Okay, there's a structure right here. I'm not sure if it's very safe. Okay, it's just a lava trap. That is definitely not cool. And there's nothing under it, okay. So I guess this is even a good structure. There's also one of these here, and I think there is a chest under all of them. Oh yeah, and I have another looting sword in here. I'm not gonna take it though, because I don't really need it. It looks like there's another tavern and mineshaft here, and there's a church a little bit behind me. I'm just gonna leave these houses because there's never anything in them. That's good. I'll go over to this church area. Or actually, I think I... No, there is a church here, but this isn't what I thought it was. Looks like I destroyed the little shrine, but it doesn't seem like there's anything in there. So I'll check this building. Knock back one book. That's useless. Feather falling one is useless. Sharpness one. I mean, I could take it. Oh, and a bundle. Nice. Two bundles, actually. Maybe I could take those. Bundles are good for, like, random items I can stack. So let me put some string. Maybe the prisma ride or whatever it was called. And a furnace. And my anvil. And my boat. Nope, not my boat. They don't stack. Well, that building was kind of worth it just for the bundles. But I didn't get, like, any crazy loot, unfortunately. Let me go see if there's anything in here. A chest with... Thunder Strike 1. Hmm. Guess I'll take it. A hammer. Is that just an axe or is that a special item? Okay, I think it's a special item. So I'll keep it in my under chest, maybe. I have been running through a forest for a while and have not found very many things. Maybe I could just set up a place to enchant, but I want a little bit more XP before I do that. Because right now I think I could only enchant two things at level 30. And I can't need to enchant four pieces of armor, so... Yeah, I don't really know. That's why I was trying to finish some more quests. Yeah, no, there's lots of stuff I could do, so I just gotta think about it. Right now, I'm just kind of trying to find one of those bosses again, or... But I guess I don't have the armor ready, so... I don't know where I should be going. So, I guess my number one priority right now, then, is to get XP somehow. And there's also a new structure right here. It looks like a jungle temple, but retextured. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go look. Maybe I'll be able to find a spawner, and maybe I'll be able to get some XP from that. I don't know. Alright, let me mine the wall to get the first chest. Efficiency 4 book, that's not that bad. This is an ancient dart. Yeah, I don't know if that's helpful, so I'm just gonna leave it probably. This chest has another dart, but it also has three diamonds, so I'll take all of that. Okay, I just found a really big structure. Maybe this will have some XP in it. Maybe I finally found a dungeon. Ooh, we all live together achievement? I don't know what that means. I gotta get these mushroom skeletons. Also, my sword is actually about to break, I just realized that. Okay, my sword did break. I gotta go make another one. And I might as well set my enchantment table up down here. Because I might be able to get a bunch of XP over and over again from this place. So I'll place all of the bookshelves. Alright. Is this level 30? I gotta craft my stuff to check. Ooh, hello, zombie. This guy is stacked. Holy, he has a lot of health. And I think he has a friend coming. But his friend does not have as much gear. 
All right, he only takes a couple crits. So let me block all this off so I can have some peace. Then your crafting table. All right, let me check if this is level 30 finally. So sharpness three on my sword, what about my helmet? Protection three, let's do sharpness three. Just got plain sharpness three. And the helmet is getting on breaking three. It's just plain on breaking three, but it's a helmet, so that's kind of good. And I'm gonna put the Unbreaking 3 book on here because I think I have multiple of them. Oh no, I mean that Protection 4 book, sorry. Now I will go up into the tower with my Sharpness 3 sword and Unbreaking 3 Protection 4 helmet. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get level 30 again. <laughs> These guys have so much health. Does this thing have like an entrance or what? Because I can't find one if there is. Maybe I'll just stack up with some wood on this side. There's a lot of fences. Okay, maybe there's a staircase up here now. There's a door. No, those are barrels. Ooh, a golden apple. And there's another skeleton right here with another barrel. There's like an evil music disc. Oh my gosh, there's so many monsters there. Maybe I can make it like a mob farm. Oh, but there's a couple of them attacking me too. I should probably get back and eat some food. They're coming from above. Okay, I got this protection to chest play on the ground. But I don't think it'll be very useful to me. I'm just going to keep finishing all these guys off. Maybe I'll get some more pieces of armor. Oh, it looks like some diamond boots dropped. Now I just got to get in there. Please stop shooting me. And I'm almost level 30. Alright, protection 3 boots. Nice. And what is up here? Some more barrels. Ooh, a quiver. That's a really useful item, it seems like. And then there's a lot more loot this way. So I'm going to go ahead and keep exploring. Power one book. Maybe I wish it was a little bit better, but Fire Aspect One. See, I thought these things could like be applied to your sword without XP, but I don't know how they work. Seems kind of useless. Man, I just gotta keep exploring the next floor because that's kind of it for this area. So I'll jump down here and go up. Is there anything up here? Well, no loot. There's a skeleton though. Any loot over here? Doesn't look like it. There is a special skeleton with a mushroom on his head, so I'll go up here. Another skeleton. Ooh, level 30. I gotta go enchant. And I think the best thing to enchant might be my boots, because I have those protection 3 ones. So let me unenchant the protection 1 and see if I can get unbreaking. Ooh, unbreaking 3 protection 4, depth strategy 3. Those are perfect. So I guess I don't need those boots right now. I keep all this on my Amanda chest then. Well, I guess I could wear one of them. That might be a good idea. Oh yeah, and I can use them to take a bond with each other. So when I enchant it, it can be full durability without having to use XP. Now let's see if I can get level 30 again. Okay, this floor has three barrels. Another feather filling tomb, whatever they're called. I'm not gonna take it because I don't know how to use them though. And another floor with a lot of diamond zombies. What the heck? What is going on up here? I don't know if I have enough like their ability to even get all these guys. It looks like there's a lot. These people have so much health for some reason. I'll try. Ouch. Alright, everyone, come on down. Another one dead. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Oh, I need to eat food. I don't want to die by accident. I mean, I might have waiver of them to jump down if they want. Maybe it's a bad idea, but I think it'll be more efficient. Oh, two of them came down. And I got some chain pants. Throw those off the cliff, though. Okay, I think there's only one zombie left, so I'm gonna go up here. And I fell. Alright, finally, everybody is gone. I just dropped my glass back, saying I have it back. Please be some good loot up here. And there is no good loot. But I'm not done checking. Another skeleton in a hidden chest. Alright, nothing in there. I'll have to keep those in my hot bar. I mean, people are up here. At least two zombies. And they're doing a little bit of damage. Three. Oh no, that's a skeleton. I should probably eat some food. Never mind, the skeleton's gone. And what is up here? More skeletons in the top of this dungeon. It only took me like 40 days to finally find a dungeon. And it's been pretty fun defeating it, but I don't know about the loot. I'm almost level 30 again. So I'll be ready to do a real bigger area. Okay, a diamond and a golden apple. Fortune one, tome two, whatever. Am I gonna take that? Alright, power four, that is a really good book. 
What's in this chest? Emeralds. I always take some emeralds. Another golden apple. Is that all of the loot up here? Yeah, it is. Maybe there's something in this area. There's a skeleton and there's lots of trees. Anything in there? Doesn't look like it. All right, I'm level 30 and I'm done with the tree dungeon. Oh, there's a chest. Protection one, I think I'm okay. So when you step on this, there's a piston opening. So if I go mine, I can see what it leads to. What? It was trolling me. It doesn't lead to anything. That's kind of lame. And before I leave and break all my bookshelves, I can do one more enchantment. So maybe I should do my chest plate because I have this extra one and I can make it full durability. And then what will I get? Ooh, fire protection three, that sucks. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, unbreaking three is next enchant. I just have to get some more XP. I don't know how I'll do that. Maybe there's some coal in one of these caves. I need a lot of coal though. I actually got one of their weapons, a sharpness five diamond pickaxe. Nice. That's not going to be too useful, but it's also nighttime so I can get the rest of the XP that I need. Maybe some more guys have spawned up here. I'm going to go check. So I'll probably be the fastest. Okay, well, I'm really close. Some creepers blow up some coal too. I just need like one more monster. Maybe this creeper will be the last one. Nope, one more. And at last, I can enchant the chest plate. Then I can pick all of these bookshelves up. Unbreaking three plane. I mean, I can't complain too much. I don't have any protection books right now though. I guess I'll throw all of this out. And yeah, get the bookshelves like I said. Because I kind of want to keep them in my enchantment table, of course. It looks like there's another two structures right here, so I'm gonna loot both of them. One of them is a little pillager outpost with a lot of arrows. And the other one is a stone brick ruin. I don't know if there'll be anything here. Yeah, there isn't even a chest in here. I'm gonna keep looking for new stuff. I think I'm just actually gonna go down to the first cave I see and get that deep slate to keep completing the quests. Cause I would like to try to finish all of these overworld ones. And it does look like I could use a silk touch pickaxe cause I need to craft this item too for a task or a quest. And I need to start a raid, so if I find one of those banner guys, I'll definitely defeat him. So maybe I shouldn't be in a rush to get into a cave if I need Silk Touch? I don't know, maybe I could find a Silk Touch book. I just wish there was more structures to explore, because I've explored a huge area of this map as you can see. It's kind of a weird line that I've taken, but I haven't found a lot of structures. I mean, I have found a lot, but also I do not have my Steve skin on because my internet was out, so... I'm stuck with this skin for a while. Yeah, I found a cave and it looks promising enough to maybe give me some deep slate, so I'm gonna go down. I'll steal some deep slate and then I'll probably just go right back up. Hopefully it goes down to deep slate, but I guess I can just stack back up so it's not that big of a deal. Do I have any blocks? Not really. Maybe I should start mining a couple. I can find like the calcine amethyst later because I don't have the silk touch pickaxe I think I need. You might be able to craft those blocks. Like maybe you can actually just craft an amethyst block. Let me look. Oh, okay, you can. You don't need a silk touch pickaxe. So maybe I can look for a geode. Okay, I see some deep slate, but yeah. I don't really see any geodes yet. Forgot what they were called for a second. Oh my gosh, what is this guy? Okay, right, so I got one of the items he drops for free. What do these do? Wither ingot? All right, honestly, I do not care. I'm just gonna keep looking for what I need to look for right now. How many deep slate do I need? Let me check my quest menu. Okay, for the other one I need basalt, so I don't need deep slate for that. But I do need three deep slate for one of them. Is this an ancient city? I don't like ancient cities. Guys are really scary. Oh my gosh, what is that? Why is there an enderman on me? What the heck? And there's some custom bug. I have a feeling it would be a really bad idea to fight him. But for some reason, I kind of want to try. Where did he go? Enderman, leave me alone, please. Oh, I found the bug. What is that? Oh my gosh, I already killed him. He didn't draw me anything special. Or maybe he did. What is this? Enables wall climbing. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure if I'll find another one though. This is a really big cave. I think I could probably see a geode if I look for long enough. I'm getting shot by so many skeletons. Okay, there's three diamonds right here. There's some turtle creatures across from me. It would be pretty cool if they like attacked you because you were mining ores. I don't think they do though. All right, another quest has been finished. An alchemist table. All right, now the next easiest thing is to craft this enchanted basin thing, whatever it's called, I don't really know. And then I'll have to start doing some way more difficult ones. So yeah, we're gonna keep trying to find a geode. Are these guys hostile? 
But yeah, I don't think so. That's probably a bad way to check, because maybe they could one-hit kill me, but... I don't know, they're cute little turtles. Why would they be hostile? Or hostile, whatever. Floats your boat, I guess. Another diamond? I don't really need diamonds. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a centipede. And he died. Is that guy a centipede? I forget. Oh, he didn't drop any legs or whatever. Yeah, it's called a cave centipede. They are a little bit scary, but it is just a cute little bug, so... I guess I shouldn't be too scared. Are there any geos down here? I just want to go up. Maybe there'll be some that way. It looks really open. So I guess I'll make my way up there. I guess I'm in like a huge spider area, which I don't really like. I'm trying to go up to this way. I've made it over here. But yeah, I don't see any open geodes, so I'll keep looking. I don't need to find it right now either. It's not like the most urgent thing ever, because I do have some other quests to finish. But I don't know if I'm ready for a raid yet. I kind of want to enchant my chest plate and my boots. So maybe I could go to the nether and get the basalt I need anyway. And then I could get some quartz for XP. And I could probably, yeah, use that to enchant the rest of the stuff I need to enchant. It may be a good idea to go get obsidian, but I'd just rather find a ruined portal because I'm really lazy. But I probably should go get some. Okay, yeah, I'm not actually close to any anymore. I'll just go for the ruined portal strategy. Okay, I'm still underground stacking up and I think I'm at like Y90, so I must be in a mountain. Okay, I think I'm finally at the surface. Am I like, why 120? What biome is this? Okay, just a rocky shrubland, I guess. What is that in front of me? Oh, a pig. Nice. There's a village come up in front of me, but I think... Oh, wait. Actually, hold on for that for a sec. This is such a cool random generation. There's like an island surrounded by trees. It looks really awesome. I'm gonna go have to check that out. I've also been mining some coal if I ever see it, which will help me get to level 30. And I do see some more right here. What is this area? Okay, a house. I think what I was gonna say earlier, but I never finished because I saw that island that I'm gonna go look at soon, was that villages always have such bad loot. So I'm not really expecting to find anything in here. Maybe I will be surprised. But unfortunately, I'm not. It's a, just a lot of garbage. And now I can go look at the island. Well, never mind. There's actually more village houses here, but they look pretty small. Okay, this witch hat has nothing good in it. Okay, I also just realized, I think this is calcite. That is calcite. I don't even have to find a geode for it. I don't know if I'll find amethyst. And actually, now that I think about it again, I left amethyst in a chest and I said that it was useless. So I guess I kind of regret that a little bit now. There's another house all the way over there. Is there any way I can make like more backpack space? I don't think you can upgrade these things. And I'm not sure if you could make two. And if you can, I'm not really sh also sure if that'd even be a good idea. So I just gotta be more smart with the usage, I guess. Two unbreaking three books, wanna keep those. I don't need thunder. Well, actually, I kinda wanna keep that. Okay, well, I did just organize my inventory for a minute and it is a lot more clear now. So I'm ready to keep exploring. And this is the island I was looking at. I love how it's in the middle, that is really awesome. But I can't stay for too long. I guess I could place a waste stone there, but I don't think I ever picked one up. I have the coordinates though, so I could come back. And there's a structure here I'm gonna check out next. Well, not a structure, but a chest. Just another looting two gold sword. I don't really want it. I've also been heading back towards zero zero a little bit, starting with the X coordinate, I think it is. And then maybe I'll go back towards zero zero again, or I don't even know what I'll do, but I'm just trying not to be so far away in case I need to go back for some reason. There's a mine shaft right here. There could be some crystals at the bottom, so maybe I should go check, because I do want to finish that other achievement. Yeah, I guess I will check. Is there going to be a vine to catch me? Well, I can just use the ladder. Alright, what is here? Was I going down the ladder faster? Oh yeah, look. I, damn, that must be a mod pack. I'm sliding down so fast. Okay, anyways. Let me look. Okay, there's one of the chest rooms. I can go look at this. And already one cave spider. Two cave spiders. Alright, let me get that spawner. Ooh, that third one. Okay, the chest has no amethyst, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Oh wait, I think I see an amethyst geode on my map. Which could be counted as cheating, but this is a mod pack, so it's not really cheating. It looks like it's this way, and then... Let's go to this one. There's a way bigger one in front of me, from the looks of it. it looks like... Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Ooh, I have almost everything. Oh wait, smooth basalt is right here. Where was that? Alright, let me open this. Now I should be able to craft. Does this version not have automatic crafting? Okay, it doesn't. Can I remember the recipe? Yes, I can. Another achievement finished. Then, let me see. What was the reward for that? 
Three to five emeralds. Okay, that's kind of weird. Well, I guess coming down here was good because I only have the actual difficult achievements left. Defeat. Yeah, I have no idea what an ancient factory is. I'm going to keep it real. Ooh, I get netherite ingot. Like a special one, it looks like. In five XP levels, okay. Ignitium ignit. Or I did not say that right. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is probably beat a raid. I just got to get back up to the surface. Would be nice if I could get a lava pool and some obsidian for the nether to do the enchantment strategy I was talking about. So I might also look for a lava pool first before I go up again. Oh, there's a skeleton spawner. This might be a good source of XP. I don't know, is it? Guess it probably depends if I can actually hit the skeletons or not. Oh, two gold apples in one chest. Nice. And then all these barrels have garbage. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to leave after I get one more skeleton for level 30 because it takes a long time for them to spawn and then they do damage to my armor. So I don't really want to farm skeletons here. Okay, I found some lava. It's time to get the obsidian I need. I don't know if I should get 10 or 20 though. I don't know, maybe I'll get 20 so I do have enough to make two portals if I need to. And I mean, I'm already almost at 10, so yeah, I'll get 20. That's good. Well, I was starting to go up and found some diamonds. Nice. I don't know if fortunate, but I've been getting a bunch of diamonds. I'm at 15. Hopefully, I don't have to go all the way up to Y20 to get up this time. I'm finally back at the surface, and I'm going to find a ray to do. Or actually, no, I'm not. I was going to go to the nether. I totally forgot about that. Do I need a flint and steel? I need to find some gravel. And then after I enchant my stuff, then I'll go find a village. Oh, so this biome looks really good. The calcite, a little up here on the surface. Just really blends in and makes it look super colorful. I like it. Is that some gravel? Mm, doesn't look like it. Wait, there's a gravel right here. Oh my gosh, I got it on my first attempt. I think that's a 1 in 10 chance. Now I just need to go up on a mountain probably to make my portal. I don't want to end up underground somewhere. And last but not least, I will need some wood to recraft all of my bookshelves. Okay, are all of these different types of trees? That's kind of dumb. I'll just only mine the spruce ones or the dark oak ones, I mean. Wait, no? Okay, I don't even know. Are some of these dark oak and some are spruce? Yeah, wait, I don't even really know what's happening anymore. Okay, yeah, I'll collect the spruce wood then, because all of these are spruce. Okay, 18 bookshelves. That should be enough. Also, wait. These are spruce bookshelves. That's so cute. It's because I used spruce wood this time. That's a really nice touch. I wonder what mod does that. But, either way, I'm ready to enchant now. For a second, I thought I didn't even have my enchantment table anymore, but I do. I just have to uh, get it out of my bundle because it's buried at the bottom. You know, that's the only bad thing about bundles is that if you really need to get something out, it's super impossible, but it's okay because now I can put everything back in. I just have to not put useless stuff in there because honestly, there's a couple of things that I put in there that I probably didn't need to. And now I'll pick only the enchantment table up. Is it level 30? Hopefully. Where's my grindstone? Perfect. And I guess I'll enchant my pants first. Or maybe I should make new pants? Nah, I can repair these pants. Unbreaking three. That is what I would probably want to see. But I didn't get protection for. That's unfortunate. It would probably be a better idea to re-enchant it. Because I have two unbreaking. Or yeah, I have two unbreaking books. So I'm going to build my portal and form some quartz. Okay, I'm going to craft a diamond pickaxe and enchant it because I accidentally broke my efficiency for one. Maybe this time I'll get fortune too. I didn't buy gun breaking, so that's a lot better than the one I did have. Then I can enchant one more thing, which I guess I'll try my chest plate again. Okay, protection four and breaking three. That is exactly what I would have wanted. Okay, I enchanted my pants and they got protection three. I went and got some more levels and now I just need an anvil to put some unbreaking on them. And then all my armor is finished. I will have to also repair it though, because it's getting pretty low. So let me grab some diamonds. For my boots, I could just use my extra boots that I have. Okay, wait, that doesn't even repair them all the way. But it only takes two levels. And then my pants, how many do these need? Two. Hopefully I can go to a village and get mending. So maybe I shouldn't repair them too much for now. I'll probably put one on my helmet. And now all of it is not very close to breaking and I can go find a village. And I think I should probably break all of this. I mean, maybe I could go get another level 30 for another sword. I think that might be a good idea and worth it. Especially since my enchantment table is set up right now. Alright, well, I enchanted my sword and it got something bad. I wasn't recording by accident. I just gotta go back and get three more levels and then I'll get them breaking that's in there now. Okay, I'm breaking three. 
it's just plan on breaking three, but I'm gonna combine it for now. Maybe I'll find a better book to put on it too. And I think now I'm pretty much ready for a raid. I just gotta find a place to do it. Luckily, I'm looking for a village too though for mending, so I can probably knock out two things when I do find one. I just found another sky island above me, so I'm gonna go up there and steal all of the diamonds. Because I think I'm running low on them. Yeah, I only have seven left. Okay, I got four extra diamonds from this. Now I'm gonna go down and keep trying to find that village I was looking for. Okay, I found a village, but it's the ones with the witches, so I have to find another one after this. And I don't think there's any loot in this village, so I'm not even gonna look. I don't think it's worth it. It does look like there's a village on the map, so I might have found a village up here. Maybe I should go ahead and craft some lecterns in case I did. Okay, so the recipe is just like this. I had to look it up because there's no insta crafting for some reason. So now I have three lecterns and it's, it's turning nighttime. I don't know if this is a village. It's like a ruin. Yeah, I don't know, but there's a villager, so maybe I can use him to trade. Okay, yeah, this guy's a custom trade villager, so I do have to keep looking. But I found a bunch of hay bales in here that I can take. There's a power two bow in here too. I think that's better than the bow I currently have. Okay, I got power two and breaking two. I'll combine them. It looks like there's a village line over there, so if I go up to it and follow it, maybe I can get to a village. Okay, it says 1900 blocks this way, so I guess I'll go ahead and see if there's anything over here. This house is on the way, so I'm gonna check if there's anything in here, because I think I did find something decent before. Okay, I didn't find anything decent this time. Just some bread. I'm being chased by a warden fish right now, but luckily my boat can outspeed him, so I'm gonna be fine. And I think there's another sunken city, or it's like a sunken ancient city. I don't even know what that is, but I do not need to go there right now. Well, actually, there might be some good loot. If I can see a chest, I might go see if there's anything in it. I don't see anything right now, so I'll probably just skip it. Okay, right, well, I am at a witch hut in a different biome. I just realized I never pressed the record button, so... I thought I was recording this whole time, but I wasn't. I just found a speed potion and, like, an upgraded witch hut. And I decided to go a different way, because I think the village was, like, a lie. I never ended up finding one. So, maybe it is a village on the sign every time. There's another sign by me, though. It says 1300 blocks this way, so I'm gonna go this way and see if I find something. This is, like, a little ruin thing. I don't know if I should go in here because there's vexes, so actually I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave. There's probably not very good loot in there anyway. Okay, I'm in another ruin. There's nothing in this one, but there's another little watchtower right here. And I don't know how I haven't found a village yet. I feel like I was finding villages a lot. And now that I need one, I haven't found one, but hopefully soon I do. There is nothing in the watchtower. I just went ahead and left, and I'm back on the search for a village. Okay, it is a new day, and I found a pillager outpost. And this pillager outpost happened to have a trapped villager. So now I'm going to see if I can get mending on him. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, I already found a mending book. It is a little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy, I think, eight or something. All right, I can add mending to my helmet. And then I'll do my chest plate. I only have four levels left, so I don't think I can get mending all my things right now. Hopefully I have enough emeralds. Ooh, I only have enough for three more mending books. That means I can get all my armor and then one tool, so I guess I'll have to decide what that is. But thank you, villager, and I will free you now so you can go do whatever you want. Because I'm never really coming back here. Alright, I can add actually money to my boots. And do I have enough levels for my pants, too? Again, okay, I need six levels for my pants, so I will do it when I get more XP. I am still on the hunt for a pillager outpost, but maybe this might be a village next to me. I don't know what this is. Or it's some kind of like above ground dungeon. I'm gonna go check it out. I think there's something under me because there's I hear monsters, but I don't see any. So maybe I should try to dig down. It might just be like a huge cave. I'll explore this ruined area first. I just found another sky base. I stacked up and got the stuff. But now I'm getting attacked by a warden fish. So I'm gonna leave. Three more diamonds and three more emeralds. That is pretty good. I'm still searching for a pillager outpost. I don't know how it's taking me so long. But after that, I'm getting pretty close to finishing all these achievements up here. Ooh, a fire resistance potion. Okay, let me check the achievements. So, the Leviathan. Okay, I have to find this guy, which is in the Dark Oak Forest. I haven't even seen that yet. And an ancient factory. Maybe I can just go to the end again and lie to her or something to get around faster. Because I have not seen an ancient factory or the Dark Forest guy. Another small structure, but these structures never lead anywhere, so it's always kind of sad. And I have another thing, which is like a little grave. I don't even know. But yeah, there's nothing here either. I think I've said this many times, but I'm still so surprised I can't find anything still. Because like I said, 
I was finding so much stuff before. I think that's an outpost over there. I can go check, but I don't think these guys have the bad omen guys with the banners. I really hope I find one soon. And then once I do find one, I still have to find a village, but hopefully I'll just find one really fast after I do get the effect. Okay, another chest too. Looting two only, so I'll leave it probably. I think my boots almost repaired. Everything else already is. So I could get these sheep here. Sorry, sheep. Because then I need to get like... I think it's six levels for my pants, and then my full set will be complete. Okay, do any of you have a banner on your head? Nope. But they will drop me some emeralds, and I used all my emeralds, so... I do need them pretty badly. And the axe guy is done. Maybe they'll have some emeralds in the chest. Okay, one. There's also some arrows, though, and this can go into my quiver. And, you know, I was just thinking if I get fire aspect, which I'm gonna need to get level 34 again, probably, or find a book, I could start collecting some steak. Because I'm always running out of bread now. I guess I'm at 54 and I have more hay bills, but still, I've gotten so much, and I've eaten so much. Okay, well, there's another pillager up here. Hopefully that's an outpost. I can get the effect, but who knows? Maybe it won't be. And actually, wait, there's a custom guy right here. Maybe this is the special thing I've been looking for. Okay, he teleported away. Where did he go? That's weird. Oh my gosh. Power 4 book? Take that. Right, so what is happening? Where did that guy teleport to? <laughs> this might be the guy I have to defeat, but he is called Sorcerer, so I don't think it is. Come back here, buddy. Well, I already defeated him. Unusual dust. Hollow to gem. That doesn't really seem to do anything. Okay, I did everything over there, but it seems like there wasn't a pillager. It was the pillager in that house. There is some pillagers up here, though, and then there's a village in front of them, so I'm gonna head over there and check that out next. It is just a pillager camp, and from my knowledge, I don't get bad omen from these guys. But still, some emeralds, like I said. I'll take it. And some XP to be able to finish my pants. I just gotta make sure I'm picking up these emeralds. Let me put these things in my backpack. Where did the pillagers go? Okay, one's up in the forest. This is probably the last guy. And I guess I could free the villagers, but then I have to leave. So the next stop is this, which looks like a village, like I said, but... You know, honestly, I don't know what it is, because there's only two houses. Alright, this is a little village, and it's a very packed one. So I'm gonna start stealing all their loot. Thank you guys for all the supplies. Honestly, I'm only really interested in, like, golden apples. All the other stuff kind of sucks. Ooh, an emerald. There are a lot of barrels here. Unfortunately, no, no pillagers. Maybe there'll be some pillagers close. I'm up to 11 golden apples, that's nice. And then up the lighthouse. I think I checked the other lighthouse I was at. And there was like literally nothing in it. So hopefully there's something in this one. I mean, there's a bread, I could take that. All right, I'm almost to the top. Is there anything? Nope. Back and jump on down if I break this. And which way should I go? Probably straight still. I'll just have to boat across this ocean. Okay, I also have level six now. So let me try to put this on my pants. Yes, yeah, level six. And I can remove the Z because I accidentally renewed my pants. All right, there we go. Now all of my pieces have mending. So I will be able to fight multiple bosses without dying. Or my armor breaking, I mean. Because I feel like if I didn't have mending on my stuff, I would have eventually broke all of it. Because, yeah, I don't know. I just plan on finding love the custom bosses in this. I think I still have time. I'm still trying to find Pilger Outpost. But it might help if I turn on my render distance and keep checking my map. Then I might be able to see something I wouldn't be able to normally see. So I'll go ahead and do that and keep on looking still. Okay, well I was just doing my strategy of looking at the map. And I think I spot a pillager outpost over there. I could be wrong, but I'm gonna go see if I'm right. I've arrived at the outpost and it's not actually an outpost. It is different, but I don't think the banner guy spawns here. So I guess I'll see you guys when I find one. Well, I found a village, but, uh, yeah, don't have the effect yet. I think I'm just gonna skip this village and keep looking, because I don't really need it, like I just said. And, I mean, even if I did need it, there's nothing in here to need. This place, usually there's no loot. So, goodbye, villagers. Can I see anything near me? There's another little pillager camp that way. Okay, I did make a pit stop at this. I don't even know what this is, honestly. But I found a telescope. Is that it? Okay. I gotta stop making pit stops, I guess, because this was not worth it. Or maybe it was. This might come in handy. Okay, I do see the pillager thing. Again, no banner guy, but there's a structure over there I can check out after. So, 
Not all hope is lost. Plus, you guys already know the drill. I can get arrows and emeralds, so... Okay, yeah, this is a pillager structure again. Basher? Who is this guy? Maybe this is the boss I have to defeat. Well, not that one, but maybe the boss is at the top. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Maybe it's time to pull out my bow. Alright, I'm okay so far. Is this floor clear? One more guy. No chests. Alright, the third floor. What the heck was this guy? Alchemist? Why'd they trap him in prison? What is this guy? Oh, another basher. Okay, the fourth floor. Alchemist. There's a chest. Affluzion or something. Emeralds. Next floor. Is this a boss? It's an illusioner. <laughs> I don't think this is the guy I need to kill, though. Ooh, totem of illusion again. Not sure what that is yet. And then some more emeralds and stuff like that. I'm getting closer to being able to craft a hollow gem. I just don't even know if it does anything. There's an invisibility potion in here. And a speed potion. Other than that, this place is empty. I guess I took everyone out. It was not very exciting or eventful. Okay, what is this thing? A uh, sorcerer again? Dang, that one guy I'm looking for must be really rare if I haven't found him yet. Ooh, another notch apple in here. Nice. Wait, do I not have a... Oh yeah, I have three notch apples. Maybe I should keep in my hot bar in case I need them. And I'm back on the hunt. Okay, I found some sort of village. Oh, I think it's a winter tavern, actually. So I don't think there'll be anything in here that I need. I can steal some more bread. And I guess I might as well take the hay bales. I hope I find what I'm looking for today. I'm gonna go straight back to looking. Because I don't need to waste my time getting more bread. I'm okay for now. Okay, it's another day. It's almost coming to an end. And, and no sign of a pillager outpost still. But I'm hoping maybe next day or two I'll find one. Okay, so there's nothing in here, I guess. There's not even a chest. Might be some under here. Ooh, there's something. Guess I'll just jump on in. Okay, there's a lot of spawners and a single chest with basically nothing in it. So I'll just steal the spawner fragments and I think I'm going to leave now. Okay, well, yeah, I found another village right here. Still no bad omen, but I mean, a village is a village. Might steal a couple of hay bales and then keep going. But actually, I don't think hay bales spawn in these ones. So I guess I'll just keep looking for a pillager outpost now. Okay, there's a spider nest here too. But I don't think I'll benefit from going anywhere near here, so I'm going to keep on exploring. There's some copper and is this actually raw iron? Ooh, it is. I'm going to take that in case I ever need some. Then this is not a pillager tower, but it is a tower. So I'm, you know, I'm going to go see if there's anything up here while I'm over this area. And the chest has a sign. That's literally it. It looks like there's some pillagers up here. But with my luck, I doubt it's a pillager camp with the bad omen guy. Doesn't seem like there's the people I need. I don't know why pillager outposts are so rare in this mod pack. Just gonna head in a diagonal line this way. Get towards zero zero again and maybe find an outpost or even one of those like sunken cities because I'm ready to fight that maybe too. There's actually an ocean now so I might actually end up falling into one. I think I've made it a couple thousand blocks so far today but nothing very eventful has happened. I haven't even found a structure, but there's another ocean, so I might see if I can find a sunken city. Oh, well, it's not an ancient sunken city, but I found a little drowned ruin. One emerald, I think that's the only thing that I'm going to find here. Yeah, there's nothing else, so... Oh, there's this warden fish guy. Maybe I should defeat him. He doesn't actually do as much damage as I thought he would. Well, he didn't drop anything. I think I found a sunken, like, actual village, but... This is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for one of those structures. So I'm going to keep swimming. I made it out of the ocean and I didn't find any sunken cities yet, which is fine. But I am at this desert temple. Or like, stone temple? Jungle temple or something I go in. Actually, I think I've been to one of these already. They're super dangerous. Maybe I should see if there's anything down here though. I thought there was pressure plates. This is dangerous. Honestly, I'm kind of stuck here now. Okay, I should be fine. Maybe if there's TNT, I can get it to set off. Maybe there's not. It's just chests. Uh-oh. Oh, there's so many silverfish. Maybe I can get the chests without having to fight them. Okay, that one's useless. 
Ooh, an enchant golden apple. Nothing in there. Then there's one chest left. Okay, that was not worth it. I found like an ocean tower right here. I wonder what's in this. Okay, nothing so far. And I guess you have to stack up for some reason. There's not a ladder. Nothing there. Seems like everything in here is useless. Just found a pillager camp. I can steal the arrows. And I guess I'll collect the free emeralds. And free the villager. It looks like I'm at another ocean. There's a sea temple there, but I don't see any cities. Okay, I actually just realized I was going backwards for like one or two minutes. I actually have to go this way. So I'm not going in another ocean, never mind. I've been finding enough coal, so I'm mining that too to get some XP. And just if I ever need coal again, I'll have it now. That way I can get level 30 and maybe do another good enchantment. I just found another village. I don't know if it's like a normal village. Or maybe it's more like a little ruin market. I don't know. I'm going to look around though. So far I have found basically nothing. I don't think this place is worth my time. There's only like coal and wheat in the chest. So I'm just going to go. Keep going towards zero zero. I just found another temple. But I'm definitely not going in there because of what happened last time. I don't really think I found it. I think I found one notch apple, but I already have like four of them, so it's not really worth it. This biome is named Jade Cliffs, and the sky is like green clouds. That's actually pretty cool. I think this biome is cute. I am having a hard time traversing it, though. It's almost nighttime once again, and I haven't really done anything today. There's no structures, but I am making progress towards where I'm trying to get to, I think. I don't know how I haven't seen a pillager outpost yet, to be honest. Just found another pillager dungeon or whatever this thing was. Like I actually found one of these earlier and had some pretty good loot. So I'm gonna head in and go look what they have. Okay, one more pillager left. Actually, there might be more than one because there's another lair. No good loot so far. Oh, a basher guy. If you just use an ax, I think it disables their shield. Ooh, there's a totem guy. And some vexes that I'm just gonna run away from. And I guess I will just go ahead and go down here. I'll probably find a lot more golden apples, which are pretty useful. And I'll probably get a lot more emeralds. And I kind of need both of those. Okay, there's a lot more stuff over here. And a lot more pillagers. I got an enchanted axe. Okay, what is in here? Another bedroom. Nothing in the chest. Ooh, alchemist guy. I think these guys are pretty rare, but they don't really drop anything useful. There is a strength and a speed potion in here. I'm gonna drink both of them. And then I will keep hunting down villagers and loot rooms. These are always empty and maybe it's glitched. Okay, I think it might be time to leave. I don't know if there's any more places to loot in this place. There are some other guys this way though. I've got to put my strength to use. I'm not even gonna check these rooms as they've been empty every time. Some more pillagers this way. I think I'm gonna find my way up. I think I got basically everything. There are some more pillagers on the map, but they're in rooms I've already checked, it seems like. All right, I found a desert temple thing. It looks a little bit upgraded, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in and see if there's anything good. There's lots of dispensers, but they're not even loaded. Ooh, and then you can go down to another area. There's a lot of pressure plates. <laughs> All the pressure plates do is just shoot a bunch of arrows. So I'm gonna keep looking. That is not very bad. Okay, these traps are pretty easy so far. This one you just gotta jump over it in time. And I keep going down. Maybe there'll be a dungeon or something. What? I thought that was a trap. It seems like they lead to the exact same thing, so. Okay, this is a really big room. It looks like this is something you can put stuff into. Emeralds? I'm gonna try to put emeralds in. Maybe I should see where it goes. Ooh, there's a lot of free emeralds that I can steal. And then I assume it just opens these doors so I can just break them open with my hands. Okay, there's lots of emeralds in here and three diamonds. I don't know what's on the floor. And I'm gonna check these chests too. Ancient dart, I found multiple of those. I don't know what they do. And a brush, which I don't really need. Okay, well, I guess that's everything down here. So now I just gotta go back up. Okay, I'm back at the top. Okay, I keep going in a line and hope that I find an outpost still. Well, I haven't found a pillager outpost yet, but I found another one of this guy's houses. So, maybe it'll be something different this time. It doesn't seem like it, though. I need some bread. I'm getting bored of grabbing only bread, though, so... What is up here? <laughs> yep, just some more bread. 
And he has the same trades, of course, so we gotta keep exploring now. I think this is the way I was going. I hope I find a Pilger Outpost soon. I might just have to give up on the Outpost, honestly. I think I actually see a Pilger Outpost up in this field. It took me long enough. Now I just have to hope I actually find the guy with the banner on his head. Because I guess there's a possibility I don't see him here. I got an achievement intruder alert. Still don't see the guy with the banner, but I think sometimes they spawn after. So I might just have to keep waiting. Okay, maybe there'll be some good loot up here I can get. And of course not. Some onions. I don't think I need onions though. There's another pillager right there. Anybody else? Two over there. We'll just go around defeating them. Okay, wait, I see this guy. He should give me bad omen. Then I just need to find a village. Okay, half bad omen. Now, where is a village? Honestly, if I find one in this big open plains, that would be the best. Because this is good terrain to fight on for me. So I guess I'll start by looking around here. Okay, I just found another one of these pillager things. I think I'll go upstairs, but then I'll probably leave. Because I think it's possible that there's a totem guy in here. But the downstairs hasn't really given me that much good stuff. I need a golden apple. I don't want to waste one of my totems. Too late. I used the... What the heck is happening? Totem of illusion. Okay, well, at least I have like four totems left. Yeah, I don't really care if I lost one. It is a little bit sad, but it's all right. We stop. Maybe I'll find another one in here though. None yet. I didn't even miss a chest down here. There's none. And then what about this final floor? Yes, another totem. Okay, well, yeah, I have all of them equipped. I think I have like four life-saving items in total that I can use. So I'm definitely not going to die anytime soon. We're going to keep on looking for another structure. Or a village, yeah, that's what I was looking for. There might be one over here. What is this? Why is there a golden skeleton? For a second, I thought it may have been like a boss, but nope, it's just a golden skeleton for some reason. It looks like there's like an original <laughs> Minecraft biome right here. Oh, so why is this guy chasing me? What's he doing? Okay, he's doing a lot more damage than before. But he's gone. Yeah, this is like alpha biome. This is so cool. I wonder why it shows the grass isn't green though on the map. I might keep going straight now, but yeah. This is a definitely a cool biome. I'll take a screenshot of the coordinates. There's another city below me, but this is not the sunken city I'm looking for either. So I'm just gonna run past it again. And hopefully I will find a village. Okay, there's another... Outpost right here. Interesting. I might be able to like upgrade my bad omen or something. There's two bad omen villagers. Okay, I have bad omen level three. I'm gonna go ahead and go find a village. Actually, wait, that is a village. I guess I can start the raid. What is this villager's trade anyway? And I wonder if uh, raids are any different in this mod. I don't know, I guess I'm about to find out. I wonder where the raiders are gonna come from first. Which direction? There's some of the other pillagers coming over here already. <laughs> okay, that's the first wave complete. Why do they keep ringing the bell? Stop it, guys. Hey, where's the next guy spawn? Over here again. And there are some actual custom attackers, so I gotta be a little more careful. I'll just use my bow a little bit to get them low. There's a custom guy back there. I'm back here. Okay, I got him. I'm gonna get so many emeralds from this. Okay, just a couple more left and another wave will be done. Okay, the next wave is here and they're all in the water again. So it should be pretty easy to pick all of them off. You know, in the water is actually a really good spot for me to fight them. Because I have Death Strider and they don't really know what to do if I'm underwater. This guy's even hitting me back. Okay, I think this is the fourth raid. It is about to spawn in and I bet it'll be behind me again. Yeah, I think they're gonna come from there every time. Ooh, there's some different villagers. I gotta be careful. What is this? Who is that? And where's he going? Oh, it's another alchemist. Okay, he's gone. What are these guys doing? Where are they even running to? Yeah, I don't know why none of them are hitting me. That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, I might get level 30 from all these pillagers too. I'm at level 25 right now. And what is this guy? A scavenger raider? Okay, I haven't seen this guy either. Inquisitor. I'm not sure what they do. <laughs> Someone give me regen. Thank you. Okay, and this is another raid done. Or not raid, wave, I mean. Hopefully there's not that many more. But it's been really easy so far. Okay, there's actually another custom guy. He's like really big. 
kind of scared of him. Okay, I'm gonna eat a golden apple. What is this? Necromancer? Oh my gosh. He's enchanted, so I might want to take care of him first. He seems to have a lot of health. Okay, he's done. Oh, everyone's angry. Ooh. I'm gonna eat one of my notch apples. Because I think this is where the raid actually gets difficult. And while I do have my effects, let me fight the guys I think hurt me the most. I also have resistance now for five minutes. Which is the most useful part of a uh, notch apple. Yeah, this guy is really big. Has a lot of health. Okay, that's almost everybody. Just a couple more. It's also turning nighttime now. Oh my gosh, someone hit me away. Gotta make sure I loot all these emeralds. I don't want them to go to waste, too. Let me finish this guy off. The golem's over here putting some work in. Good job, golem. Okay, there's everybody. This last wave will probably be the most difficult. Or I think it's, this is the last one, at least. I just need to target the most overpowered guys. First. I also wish I had some lava. That would help me. Oh, I haven't gotten hit yet. I think all of them are attacking the villager in the water. What does this guy do? He doesn't mean attack back. <laughs> Who is that guy up there? A sorcerer? Okay. Everyone's in the water. Okay, I'm getting damaged. Let me eat a normal golden apple. And I will go get these guys that are just sitting in the water. Oh, one of these enchanted guys again. Oh, maybe he summons monsters? My resistance is really helping me survive. I got you another golden apple. Oh my gosh, there's so many monsters. And this guy's so many vexes. Let me get him. And let me pick the totem up. Okay, I got it. No, I didn't. Now I did. Okay, let me deal with the bashers. I gotta get him while they're stunned. Okay, right, I think I'm about to be done with it. Just two more guys. Ouch, that hurt. Alright. Maybe this is the last wave. Maybe it isn't. Hopefully it is, because I only have one minute of resistance. Okay, there's another wave. Okay, the villagers just spawn in this area, and... All of them are almost gone. This wave has been a lot easier. Maybe it's because they all spawn so spread out. Seems like some of them have been stuck. Then there's a couple over here. Maybe this is where all the hard ones spawned. I think they're trying to get these villagers in this house. Oh, there's a, a scavenger dog. Oh yeah, there's a Vex summoner. The Vex are on me. This axe guy. Yeah, I don't have resistance, so I took a lot more damage. Another free totem. I wonder if you can craft anything with totems. Totem of Void Undying? Interesting. There should only be like one or two left. This is one of them. Why is he just sitting in their chair? Okay, then one in front of me I can see on my map. Okay, where are the last ones? There's one this way. He must be hiding all these leaves. Oh, it's a basher. It looks like it's this guy over there? That's really far away. Okay, this raid is really long. There's another wave still. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, I think this should be the last wave. I'm still finishing everybody off. I've gotten low a couple times. I also need to make more bread because I have one left. But honestly, the worst part of the raid is just finding everybody because they just like run away from each other and they're so split up. Ooh, there's a Vex Summoner on top of a Ravager. This might be a little more difficult. I've been using all of the golden apples I collected. I should probably bow these guys. Ooh, I need to run away. I'm getting low. It may have been a good idea to just let one of my totems pop or yeah, another golden apple earlier. But if I don't have to, I don't really want to. So I've been trying to avoid it. Okay, please stop hitting me. They're getting bowed to death. There's one, and there's two. And this little Vex guy, he's done. I'm gonna pick up the totem. Okay, how many people are left? There's a couple over here. I think I'm just gonna let them take one of my totems away because I have too many to hold now. Oh, well, I can actually get another totem right after they take this one. Do totems give you resistance? I don't know if they do. Okay, they don't. They do give you regen, which is worth it. Please stop hitting me. Come back here. How many pillagers are left? Two? Okay. Okay, this raid is never ending. There's another wave. I think I've been doing this for like two days. But I'll get an achievement for it, so it's worth it. All of them spawn over here. I guess I'll show a little bit of action. I think I should probably a notch apple. I don't know if I'll survive if I don't. I just take too much damage. So I'll eat one and I'll just finish them off really fast. Starting with the Necromancer. 
I'm still taking a bunch of damage. Okay, I need to hold an extra totem. Oh my gosh, so many people here. This is like the super wave. If I get these Ravagers deleted, I should be good. Let me eat another golden apple. I have my resistance now. I probably would have died like three times over. Okay, I need to focus bow on the Ravagers. I can kill everything else with my sword faster. Because I also need to get rid of these Vex summoners. Because Vex are like the most annoying things ever. And they do a lot of damage, so it's even worse because they're not just annoying, but they actually pose a very real threat. Alright, let me finish this guy off. There we go. And I need to eat some bread to regen. If I pop a totem, it gives me free regen too. So I might just want that to happen. So I guess I'll be a little bit aggressive. Let me break these Basher shields. <laughs> Wait, there's an incinerator just in the water. Okay, he's done. Two more pillagers. Oh, that's a basher. I know it's not. I can't hit him. Maybe I'll just build everybody else. And there's actually more pillagers somewhere because this is like five left and there's still a lot in the bar at the top. All right, let me go get that totem too over there. And some emeralds. Wait, where'd the totem go? Oh, it's right here. I missed it. It seems like half of the remaining pillagers are this way, then the other half is behind me. So let me go get these guys first. I don't know why some of them just run off and hide. And then there's somebody hiding in the house again. Why does he keep going to that same chair spot? Alright, the last ones are this way. I'm praying this is the last wave. <laughs> okay, I finally finished the raid achievement. So I can go into my quest and claim that reward too. Which is a netherite ingot. I think this one actually has some special attributes too. Or is this just normal netherite? It might be normal. For now, I will keep it in my bundle with everything else. And I guess the next one I want to do is... Probably the Sunken City or the Ancient Factory, and then maybe this one if I can find it too. Found in the Dark Oak Forest. It's not very specific. I also have a bunch of levels, so I guess I'm off on my journey once again. So I don't have anything to enchant. There is another like little ruin village, which I probably won't even bother. There's a little ruin village here. I probably won't bother checking any of it, but there is some sort of tower right there that I haven't seen in a bit if I haven't seen it before. So I'm gonna go loot that. Then I guess, yeah, I'm just on the lookout for dark forests and oceans or something. I think I found some good loot in one of these before. Hopefully I can refresh my golden apples because I used up almost all of them. And there's some hay here, so other than that, though, there's nothing. Some arrows. Another structure here. It seems to be more ruins, and honestly, I've had a pretty bad experience with the ruins. I usually just found like a fishing rod and a leather helmet. And it seems like today is no different because I found some arrows and some bread. But, I mean, this doesn't really look like it'd have good loot, so it makes sense that it isn't that good. Bastion Remnant? What is this? Are you supposed to bring this into the nether or something? I don't know. But um, none of it is loading in, so I can't really even track it down. So that means I'm just, like, too far away from it, which is okay. I'm just gonna throw it out. Looks like I found a little spawner down here in the cave side, but there's no loot. I'll just steal this spawner fragment and leave. There's another village right here. I'm gonna claim the waste one because I haven't claimed one in a long time. Other than that, just seems like a normal village. There's a dark forest by me. I just checked it for a theater because I looked up. That's where the guy I'm looking for spawns. But he wasn't there, so I'm going to keep looking for more dark forests. And there's actually an ocean here, so let me make a boat. I'm going to go see if I can find a second city again. I just found a dark forest. I'm looking for a theater again. I don't think I'll find one, though. This is also a very small dark forest. I'm going to go ahead and look. And there's actually another ocean next to me that I can explore after I look at this place. Ooh, I just found a boat. I haven't seen one of these yet. I've been in the ocean for a lot, long time, over the course of these 100 days. Maybe there'll be something special in there. Okay, well, my game crashed. I accidentally did something to crash. I don't really know what. So I'm here a little bit earlier. If that's why anything looks a little different, it's because I went back in time a couple minutes, but uh, not on purpose. Okay, let me get back into the ship now. Nobody shoot me. Everything will be okay. Oh my gosh. What are you guys shooting me with? <laughs> what, what is happening to my FOV? Okay, only a couple left. Seems like they're kind of stuck in place, which is a little bit odd. What's in this chest? Death Strider 2. What arrow is that? Because it looks like healing arrows, which is the weird part. Oh my gosh. They just knocked me off the ship. Come on, guys. That's not nice. I guess I have to sack back up. Okay, I did not get knocked down again. All right, please. One more guy. Okay, any loot in here? Some gold. I don't need gold. Gunpowder. I mean, gunpowder might come in handy. I could take it because there's probably a lot on this ship. And some TNT. Nice. Guess I'll take TNT too. Why not? Except for the gunpowder though, this is pretty uneventful in the loot department. 
But there's a downstairs. Okay. This is like the food compartment. Am I gonna waste a totem? Oh my gosh, almost. Let me open this. Nice. Then there's one last guy. Oh, there goes my totem. Nope, I lied. Okay, what is in here? Nothing good. I can get a spawner fragment and some more TNT and gunpowder. Nice. Okay, that seems like everything. A pillager camp. But everybody knows how these go by now. The guy's an enchanted axe. I'm getting deja vu with these pillager camps. I'm level 38. I have to do some more enchanting. But like I already said, I don't really know what to enchant. I'm up to like three stacks of arrows. That's really good. So I can start using my bow a little bit more. I guess I can use my bow against the archers. And I'll get up there and steal those emeralds. Doesn't seem like there's any dark forest within my immediate vicinity. So I will keep on exploring. Alright, what is this place? Just found like a huge temple with a lot of emerald box. Maybe I finally found some sort of dungeon. First I will steal the emerald box though because I'm an emerald block thief. There's a lot of blocks here. So this makes me think that this structure isn't some joke. That's going to have like bread in the chests if I go down here. Because I don't think they would give away this many free emerald blocks on the outside. Maybe I'm wrong though. We're going to go in and check. There's lots of levers. What are the levers supposed to do though? I okay, flip all of them? Maybe I should just go in and see what they're actually leading to. Okay, a doorway that's right here. Okay, I think this is where I was supposed to go. Okay, there's traps. Hey, as long as there's not TNT, I think I'll be fine. I'll hold uh, two totems though and have a third one ready. Wait, what? Is there nothing in here? Okay, there's another pathway. Uh, this is where I came from. Honestly, I feel like this place is a big waste of time. I just keep getting poisoned and damaged. What is this? A lever? Why do the levers never do anything? Oh, I think I heard something open. Still getting shot. Okay, well, obviously, if there's ladders, I can dig into it probably too. Okay, I found a loot room. Is that ender chest alive? Nope, that's just an ender chest. And lots of gold blocks. That's pretty good. Okay, I got a lot of loot. I think I'm gonna leave this place. I'm not really interested in anything else here. I feel like I found everything already. You can just kind of mine in a straight line and find all this stuff. Another room. Oh my gosh, this is cool. It's like a lava dungeon thing. And I already mined out the side. I probably missed something, but I don't really care. I got a lot of free emerald blocks and gold blocks. Let me craft my gold into more blocks too, so I can have my inventory sorted better. I just got off the ocean I was in. I'm gonna craft up some bread, I think. Maybe I should go to a different biome. We're gonna check some of the quests. Cause I'm not really finding much in the overworld, so. Could be time for a switch. So yeah, there's like the wither thing I could do. Some guy called Ignis. I have no idea what that is supposed to be. Uh, Ignited Revenant. Yeah, I don't know what any of these are supposed to be. Found in soul blacksmiths, which rarely spawn. What's something that's common? I right click the altar with a nether star. <laughs> I, I have to kill Wither for that. I would collect the upgraded Wither, but I don't want to die. Hmm. Found in the burning arena. Maybe that won't be that difficult. I don't know. Maybe I will go to the nether. What about like the end achievements? Yeah, I could go there too. So maybe I will go to the nether. See if there's anything that I see soon. I would like to just stay in the overworld. So yeah, maybe I'll try. I've really find the sunken city now. I'll keep my eyes extra peeled. Okay, I found another village and this one looks really pretty. If I wasn't searching for bosses, I would make a little home here. It's so cozy around this area. And yeah, this design's awesome. Are these bone blocks? <laughs> it is bone blocks. Nice. They took down a lot of animals to build these houses, I guess. I might try to get back up to another stack of hay bills too, so I always have extra bread. Because I am running low. I'm at like 20. And there's plenty to take from here. Okay, I found an ocean. I'm thinking I'm going to like actually swim around this thing. Until I find what I'm looking for. Hey, what is this? Another boat. Nice. In the middle of an ocean. So I'm gonna sneak on in here. Please don't spawn any villagers. Okay, you need to chill out, buddy. Oh my gosh. So much violence. Some more gunpowder. I'm almost at over a stack of that. What's in this room? A whole bunch of nothing. Okay, then there should be like way too many guys up here to defeat. Two iron gloves. Nice, I broke my other iron glove, so I'll take those. I hate how these guys don't even... Okay, I'm done. I'm not even going to defeat all of them. Because last time it was not worth it. Okay, I found a little villager boat here. And I missed my jump. Any good loot? Well, most of the barrels are empty. And then this fisherman villager probably doesn't have anything. 
He doesn't sell much. I mean, I'll take 11 gold. I don't know if I'll need it, but gold is gold. I think I also saw like a sunken ship or something cool over here. I'm going to go look at that. Like this thing right here. I do not see any cities. I'm still looking for those. Okay, another. All right, well, the thing that's sunken over here is like just a buried treasure thing. Or it's not a buried treasure thing, sorry. I don't know what they're called though. I mean, yeah, there's not much else in here, so I'm going to go up. Well, the valuables chest. Oh, a globe. That's awesome. That looks cool. And some emeralds. Okay, well, I think I've basically explored this whole ocean right here. I'm still swimming around some parts. But I think if I loop back around this way, there's probably a little bit more over here that I haven't explored. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully, I find a sunken city. If I don't, I'll keep looking at another ocean. Well, I mean, I can't find the sunken city still. But I did find Dark Oak Forest. I'm going to go look if there is a theater here. I think I just found a desert village. I'm in a lush desert too, but it's raining, so that's kind of funny. I guess that's why it's a lush desert. And also, this village is abandoned, so there's not actually anything in here I can take. Except for a bed, because I think I lost mine. So I guess I'm just continuing to look if there's anything around me. There are a lot of oceans, so I might go swim around and see if I find that structure I've been looking for. Okay, I've been exploring this ocean. I still have to explore this side, but this side is... Kind of almost explored, I think. It looks like there's some islands over here. But after, I'm going to go back and look over here to find a sunken city. Hopefully, I find one. And this is the path I've taken so far. These 100 days. <laughs> looks very weird and it's not very straight. I just found a big pillager boat. I think I'm going to go ahead and go on here and see if there's any good loot. I'm also almost done exploring this whole ocean, so I'm going to have to keep looking. Because I did not find a sunken city. Okay, there's a spawner down here. And a lot of gunpowder. Seems like there's only one chest. Then there's more pillagers standing still with bows. Okay, I think... I don't know, that's not all of them. There's a couple more up here. And there's a lot more gunpowder in all these chests. Like, stacks of it. So if everyone make fireworks, I will be able to do that easily. I have two full stacks on me. Found a jungle village here. I'm gonna see if there's any loot in this place. There's some bread, so I can refresh on that. And I found one emerald so far. I could get another librarian villager with my lecterns but i don't think i need any books i think i'm pretty much maxed out maybe like looting three but i don't think i'll have time to do the wither stuff so i think i'm gonna skip on that so yeah the rest of the villagers are empty i'm gonna go ahead and go and there's already another village straight in front of me like 100 or 200 blocks away from the other one so might as well look at this one too and i'll click the waystone in case i ever need villagers since i'll be able to teleport here easily I just found another jungle temple thing. I think I can go ahead and go in and see if there's anything down here. There's a dispenser and a staircase. All right, a spider spawner. I can get another spawner fragment, so I might as well. Then there's another way right here, I think. There's a lot of cobweb, though. Okay, this room is just empty, so maybe I explored everything already. The jungle temple is pretty underwhelming, but I'm back in an ocean now, so I'm gonna go ahead and look for a second city. Hopefully I find one today. I found a deep ocean, so I'm going around the outskirts of it so far, and I haven't found anything, but I think I could find what I'm looking for eventually. Okay, I just found a huge giant mushroom, so maybe there'll be something in here. I have not seen something like this yet. I got an achievement for going in here, and actually, let me see if I have some tor Okay, I don't have torches, but that's okay. There's some mobs here. Oh, and custom mobs from a spawner. They're piglin brutes with some mushroom gear. This chest has some obsidian, but other than that, nothing that good. Hey, where's the spawner? Because these guys are getting me low. Alright. I also want to get the fragment for I can put it into my chest. And then there's like one more layer, I think. So I'm going to go loot that. There's another spawner. And more loot. This is actually some pretty okay loot up here, too. Three diamonds. I'll take those. And that seems like it's basically it. I guess I'll go on top two to see if there's anything there. Yeah, that's it. So I guess I'm going to keep looking for more oceans. There is a pillager camp over the chair left, which I'm just going to skip because I've been to way too many of those by now. There's also a tower which I'm going to go into because I haven't been in one of these for a little bit. So maybe I'll find something I need. The first and second floor were empty. I uh, found some bread up here. I don't know if that's necessarily good though. And I'm already at the last floor and there's no chest. So I got like five bread from that. Okay, I found this little planes thing. Usually it's an igloo, but this time it isn't, I guess. But honestly, I don't really need to cure a zombie, so I'm just gonna leave them. Sorry, guys. I've been through so many oceans, and I just can't find that second city again, which kind of sucks. 
I guess I could go back where I came from to go to the other ones, which is where I'm kind of heading right now. So I do plan defeating it by the end of the 100 days. Hopefully at least. I'm just stuck in a little forest biome so far. There's ocean right here, so I'm going to go swim over to that so I can keep going through it. This day is coming to an end soon too, and I'm still swimming through a big ocean. This one is way bigger, it seems like, but still I'm not having much luck, unfortunately. I'm also getting a lot closer to 002. Seems like I'm about 30,000 blocks away. Okay, I just found a desert temple right here. It looks like it's pretty empty though. I have not... Oh my gosh, I just accidentally triggered my totem because I lit the TNT, yeah? Maybe that wasn't a pressure play. It could have been like a area of effect, presence, location thing. So I guess I wasted a totem, but I can go ahead and put another one on because I have a lot extra. I'm going to keep going towards zero, zero. Okay, I see some special mobs in the desert right here. Hey, they're trying to give me a tornado and they're cold like a guster. Maybe they'll drop me a good item if I defeat them. I can bow them, so I guess that's their weakness. I shouldn't hit him with a sword. Okay, when they dropped something, a guster eye? From the looks of it, this is very useless, so I'll probably just throw it out. Okay, I just found another ocean. Maybe I will finally find the sunken city. If not, I'll get close to zero, zero, which is a win, win. Well, it kind of seems like the ocean was empty once again, because I explored most of it. I do have a little bit left, I think. There might be more ocean over here, but I'm about to find out if there is or not. Okay, well, it looks like there isn't, because it just loaded the chunks, and it just goes to more land. So I'm going to go straight and keep going to zero, zero. Well, I've been exploring for like half of the day so far, and I'm in another ocean for like the fifth time. Maybe this will be the one, though. There's only one way to find out. Okay, I just found a structure, but I don't think it's a second city. It's like an upgraded ocean monument, and I already have mining fatigue just for swimming over it. So I do think I'm going to leave because I don't want to mine in there, and I couldn't mine in if, even if I wanted to. But maybe it's a good sign. I could be close to finding what I actually want to find. There are some goats in this field. I don't think goats do anything, but... I found another one of these structures with the gold weapons, and there's actually a real structure next to it, but I have to wait for my mining fatigue to disappear to check the gold sword. I guess I can start looting this place. I can steal some books too and get up to stack. I'm gonna need a new axe. I feel like my axe was almost about to break for like literally th five or six days, so it lasted a long time. And I can also go see what that gold sword is, but... I don't think I've taken one of them since the beginning. They're usually pretty useless. But maybe there's like a chance for it to be a diamond one. I mean, this is looting two on breaking three. I could combine that with my looting three one. If I ever need looting really bad. So I'll keep that. And then I have to keep going this way. I'm only 18,000 blocks away. Zero, zero on this coordinate. And in total, I think I'm like 27,000. I do see another ocean, so I guess I have a second chance. Or I mean, it's not even second at this point. I've had like 30 chances. I'm gonna go ahead and go see if there's anything in the ocean, though. I just found something in the ocean, but it's another... Yeah, it's another sea temple or whatever. I don't want to get mining fatigue. I'm gonna run away. This ocean does get a lot bigger again, so maybe I'll get lucky and find something if I keep going. But yeah, I do not want to go fight guardians. I doubt there's even a special boss in there. All right, it is the next day, and I am got through that whole ocean back there. You can see how much I explored. And now I'm in, like, some frozen biome, just trying to make my way through here. Still haven't found the sunken city yet. There's some ruins here, though. But honestly, I don't think there's anything good in this. Ooh, there's a tower. I gotta go over there. After I get out of this powdered snow. Alright, just look through the tower. There's nothing in there, so... I'm off on walking to spawn again. I'm only about 16,000 blocks away, and it's nighttime. I decided to wait a little bit to sleep to fit in some extra time. Hopefully, I get back to the ocean and find one of those cities I saw earlier. That is still my plan. I feel like they were upset. Okay, I'm... 9,800 blocks away from one of the waste tones and about like maybe 13 or 14,000 blocks away from spawn. So I'm getting a lot closer and I've almost made a big square shape around the whole map. Okay, so on my map, if you go all the way over to zero, zero, there's actually the structure I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to go try to go to this one. It will take me a little bit, but then I'll be able to defeat the boss. I'm only like 12,000 blocks away. I'm in another ocean and I'm getting really close to zero, zero. Doesn't seem like there's anything here except an underwater desert pyramid, which I'm going to go check for fun. Maybe there'll be some water TNT or something. Oh, I hope this isn't another secret trap. Maybe I'm about to get blown up. Okay, none of this stuff is good. There's also custom enchantments. I just realized that because this is called... Well, I guess I didn't just realize that because I found like the Thunder Hammer book. I also found Skulk Smite in here. Oh, wait, I can't get out of here because the magma things. 
That's the trap. So I just got my inform of them, and then I can swim up. I think I'm under 5,000 blocks away now, because it's like 200, 300 in the coordinates. Oh, so there's like a treehouse up here. I'm gonna go look in this. It looks pretty cool from over here at least. Oh yeah, there's custom mobs in this place too, just like the big mushroom from earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here and defeat all these guys. Maybe there'll be a boss if I'm lucky. Probably not though. Oh yeah, there's a lot of skeletons here. And some zombies. These guys are actually doing a lot of damage. I think this is definitely more difficult than the other one I was at. And they had some diamond armor. I'm actually gonna pop a totem if I keep taking damage. Okay, the skeletons are shooting each other. And there's two zombies left. And all the skeletons jump down. I don't know why. Are there no chests on this layer either? Okay, there's one barrel with bread. And a power two book. I think that's all the loot on this floor. So I'm gonna go up the ladder. And there's a creeper. That's probably not part of the thing though. I think he's just spawned up here because it was dark. I'm breaking one sword. I use this book. This would be good if this is the first thing I found. There's some pants, but none of this loot is useful to me anymore. I'm breaking three iron gloves. Those are pretty useful. And two more diamonds. I think that is actually all the loot on this floor and it does seem to be the last floor, but I can stack up and check. Ooh, there's some hidden loot up here, but it's the same as the other floor's loot. I guess there's some bombs. I haven't even used my bombs yet. What do they do? They don't even do any damage. All right, the skeleton is dead. I'm gonna keep going back to zero, zero. Okay, I'm at the ocean that is connected to the place I need to go. I think I'm probably like a thousand blocks away from it, or maybe 2,000. So I can go in there and try to defeat, I think it's called the Leviathan boss that I need to get. Yeah, I need to defeat him. I don't know how long it will take. Okay, I'm pretty close now. I think I'm gonna also place my crafting table and enchantment table and get a better helmet, just in case it's underwater a lot. So I might be able to break blocks and stuff better. Now I gotta place the bookshelves and I have to find my enchantment table. It's buried in one of my backpacks. Okay, I got it back. And I just gotta craft a couple of helmets. Okay, the first helmet, Aqua Affinity. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get. And what is this one? Just Unbreaking 3. If I get my Grindstone, I can try and get Respiration. Alright, I think I have one more try. Well, maybe I have one more. I can keep rerolling the enchant. Okay, Respiration 3. Then I combine these two. Okay, this way's the cheapest. And I can put on my helmet. Should be able to. Oh my gosh, it's gonna cost 27 levels. What the heck? I guess I can't do that yet then. All right, I just actually looked it up before going to the temple and I probably should have done this a while ago, but it looks like the boss is super difficult and might take a while. So I think I'll save that for if I do 200 days and go off in this direction, hoping to find a theater maybe. Cause I could finish the conjurer quest or whatever. That thing isn't a theater cause there's a boss. You know, actually, I don't think I got to the top of that. So I'm gonna go check it. Because I remember I went up here like the first day and I had to jump off because I was getting low. Alright, I'm at the center. This is like a hot tub or something. No monsters in there. And then there's some more skeletons right this way and a spawner that I can break. Okay, this is like a cake room above the hot tub. Interesting. Then there's some private rooms and a staircase that goes even farther up. I don't know if there's anything up here though. Another spawner. So far, there's not much. I think I'm also at the roof. Or maybe not. Okay, there's four more ways to go. I still hear skeletons though, so yeah, there's one more floor at least. Another spawner. I'm at three spawner fragments. In total, I have 14 though. Okay, there's just some amethyst in there. Looks like there's a something on the roof, but I think it's just a roof. I don't think it's like a floor you're supposed to go to, but I'm gonna go up there just to see. Yeah, it's just a roof. Oh no, there's a secret chest that has nothing good in it. Okay, I'm gonna set off in this direction, or I'll probably explore the rest of the dark forest first. There's a burning pill drop post right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and go look. Also, some of the blocks are just falling into lava, so I guess that's one of the mods in here. I haven't realized that till now. There might be a goat horn or something, so I'm gonna go check the chest. Okay, there's nothing in there. I'm gonna leave. Okay, I just found this, this huge mushroom that's near a village or something like that. I don't think there's gonna be any bosses to fight, but 
it is a village in a mushroom, so I'm gonna explore it. Seems like this is kind of glitched because this house is like inside a mountain with dirt. And there's a farm right here. Maybe the mushroom isn't even a part of the village then and they just happen to spawn on top of each other. Yeah, because there's actually aggressive mobs in this. So I guess it was just a coincidence. The mobs aren't that powerful, so I think this is a pretty low tier structure. So far the loot is pretty bad. There's also a villager just sitting in here. I can't really find a way up to the other part of the mushroom. So I guess I have to climb up beside by breaking box. Okay, I found another part. And they're riding cows this time. Then there's a sign that says if you walk with the fungus, you'll never be out of spores. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. But I will take the gold block. And there's one chest here with some more gold and emeralds. Okay, yeah, that was all of it. The top of the mushroom is just blank. So I guess I'll keep going this way. I would have tried to fight the Leviathan, but I also went in a creative world and spawned him and I couldn't even hit him with my sword or anything. So but I think you even need the like, custom weapons. So like I said, if I do 200 days, I'll probably try to defeat him, but I don't really want to risk losing my world at the last days in order to fight a boss I don't know how to fight. So I will look for the theater, like I said, instead. There's also another forest next to me. It could be in here. So today I'm just going to try and find more dark forests. I'm going to try to dodge this ocean right here. It also looks like that might be a dark forest, but it's only called a forest, so I guess it isn't. Another tavern. It kind of sucks that taverns never have anything interesting in them. It's kind of just like a worse village, but that's all right. I'm going to go across this ocean. Okay, I just finally made it to land, and I was swimming for a long time. This ocean was really big, as you can see. But now that I'm on land, I can keep looking for dark forests. I've been walking around for a whole nother day and I do see some sort of structure right here. Maybe this is what I've been looking for. I saw it on my map as I passed by. And it looks too small to be a mansion. I just need to find the entrance. Okay, well I can't find the entrance, but I did get the achievement, so this is definitely what I'm looking for. And this is the guy I have to defeat. Okay, I'm actually starting to take some damage. I need to eat one of my golden apples. I'll defeat everybody watching the show. He might summon more people though, I don't really know yet. Oh, the bouncy balls are flying around the room. Okay, I'm taking more damage. Maybe I have to use my bouncy ball to get him. Okay, I'm actually about to die. I'm gonna eat a notch apple for the resistance. Okay, it seems like he's half health. I just need to keep following him. Okay, I threw my bouncy ball and it didn't do anything. Okay, can I hit him again? It's 25 health. I don't think this is a very difficult boss. He did do a lot of damage. Okay, he's running away from me. Okay, I think I should be able to get him now. Okay, I did get him. So I have four bouncy balls now and his hat, which is cool. So I'll just put that in my chest for now. Throwing card. Okay, I mean, that's pretty cool too. And I think he had like a custom disc, which I don't really need. Well, I defeated another goal that I wanted to do, so I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh, this is like a ticket booth. Let me take care of that guy. VIP administration. Those are probably the people that made this mod, so thank you to those people for making it, I guess. There's also some custom placed armor stands in a pretty cute way. That's awesome. And a little fish tank. Well, this place is definitely cool, and I love how it's a little mini boss. Stuff like that really adds to the game, I feel like. I wish it was a tiny bit more common, maybe, but that is alright. It took me a long time to find. And for the overworld quests, oh, I'm getting exploded. That's not nice. Okay, let me check it. Yeah, I didn't find the ancient factory guy, and then the Leviathan is way too difficult. So I'm gonna have to try that another time. Maybe in 200 days if this video gets enough likes. So if you want to see another one, leave a like. And I have to finish the tradition. I forgot about it. If you're watching still, this is just to confuse everybody and see if a lot of people watch all of the video. Go ahead and leave a comment saying, I love the rose bush. Maybe something like that. I love the roses. Feel free to make it a little bit different. Just say something about roses, maybe. Like, that rose is tall, or that rose is cute, or roses are red, <laughs> violets are blue, something like that. And if you comment anything like that with roses, I will give it a heart, like I do on all my other videos with the secret word. But yeah, it seems like this is coming to a close. I'm gonna see if I can find an ancient factory possibly before the video is over. Okay, I just realized it says ancient factories are in caves. So that's interesting. I didn't know that. Just found a lighthouse right here. I doubt there's gonna be anything good in it. 
because there never is, but I'm gonna check. Get some coral. Interesting. Kelp, I don't need that. A broken fishing rod. <laughs> Another broken fishing rod. And the top. So I'm gonna leave. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Okay, well, this is the last day, and it looks like I'm not gonna have time to do anything else anyway, so I think this is the end of the video. But thank you everybody for watching, and if you enjoyed it and want to see 200 days on this mod pack, then leave a like, share with a friend, and leave a comment. There should be a video on screen now if you want to click it and watch another video like this. I hope everybody enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Subscribe too while you're at it.